you won't stop, and you don't stop, and you won't stop. I'm gonna tell you since the public school era. Bathroom passes, cutting classes, squeezing ass. Smoking blunts was a daily routine since 13. A chubby nigga on the scene. I used to have to trade deuce and the deuce deuce in my bubble goose. Now I got the Mac in my knapsack, lounging black, smoking sacks up and axe and sidekicks with my sidekicks, rocking fly kicks. Honey's wanna chat, but all we wanna know is where the party at. And can I bring my gas? If not, I hope I don't get shot. Better throw my vest on my chest, cause niggas is a mess. It don't take nothing but front for me to start something. Bugging and fucking at niggas like I was fuck hunting. Coming out just me and my crew, cause all we wanna do is. Party and bullshit and party and bullshit and party and bullshit and party and bullshit. Like the golden waters, it's time yet again for the Wingnut Roundup. Welcome, 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 everybody, to the Wingnut Roundup for February of 2024. I am your host, Jeff Holiday, King of Shivambu. Jesus fucking Christ! So I want to keep pushing that joke. Hi, everybody. How you doing? How you feeling? I feel fucking awesome. I feel so goddamn good right now. So good. I'm so charged. I'm full of zest. I'm full of life. I'm full of. Uh, Sandwiches, that's true, that's true. Uh, we had a little party last night, and I made finger BLT sandwiches, and I made too many, which meant that I had many, many little finger tiny BLT sandwiches for breakfast and for lunch. I might have had too many. I might, your boy right now might be high on the BLT finger sandwiches. Little, little fingy sandwiches. Fingy sandwiches? I don't know. All I know is I'm fucking excited. Yet again, one more month down. And one more wing nut roundup for us to have some fun. So, welcome. For the next three hours, I will be your host. I will be your cruise captain. Taking you along on an adventure on the high seas of dumb fuckery. The, the stormy oceans of wing nuttery and conspiracy and pee. It will be amazing. I'm never going to do that again. Hi. Hi. I hope you're well. I've had a great month. A great month. It's been fantastic. Mostly. I did maybe crash a motorcycle. Maybe. I can neither confirm nor deny whether or not that happened. But I will I will say if it happened, number one, it wasn't my motorcycle, and number two, it was at 
12 miles an hour. So it, every, everyone's fine and everything's good. We're good. No bubble wrap jokes, okay? No bubble wrap jokes. We don't need to. Everything's good. It's fine. Don't worry about it. No, no need for alarm. It's totally cool. I am a professional. <laughs> or something. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, you know, I don't even have to tell you guys this stuff either. I could just like leave it, leave it alone, you know, and uh, you'd never know. I'd, you'd never know that I was injured. I just, you know, like start a show and have like my arm in a big cast. Like, oh, nothing happened this month. You know, just do, 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 do. I should just start doing that. That'd be great. That'd be goddamn hilarious. Yes, it was Memories Bike. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I wrecked Memories Bike. And you know how it happened? Mud. Just mud. Just mud. Whoop. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, I wrecked the little bike. It's a bummer. It's a bummer. Living with Jeff must be chaos. Uh, it's not boring. I will give myself that. I am not a boring person. Like some people, they get very bombastic online and then like you meet them in real life and they're just kind of like, yeah, you know, hey, what's up? You know, Not me. Not me. I will take your ass on a fucking adventure. Whew. Life is too short. Life is too short not to have adventures. Um, all right. Let's see. So this month, um, I, I decided I'd try and keep them into groups of, like, narrative storytelling. And then that completely fell apart on me. So what we have tonight is a mishmash hodgepodge smushing together, if you will. Uh, of all sorts of bizarre stuff, and I have found some absolute bangers. Uh, so I think uh, I think you'll have a good time. So, without further ado, we're just going to jump right into it. We're going to jump right into it. We're going to catch up first with our favorite occultist author, S. Rob. See, S. Rob is fleeing. He's fleeing. He has taken flight. And in fact, he has not been seen for some time now. For, what is it? Two weeks. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to play it and we'll talk about it afterwards. Here we go. It's raining here, which is somehow apt. I'm having to flee because of an extremist threat. It's highly unlikely that... In I have no idea what that's supposed to... What he's blogging out. But some sort of extremist threat is why he must flee. ...is going to try to attack me. Well, to be fair, I don't know exactly what the percentage chances are, but you can't wait until the ch until it's odds on. I thought I'd fill in it this time. So this is the beforehand bit. Because let's be honest, it's about occultism. It's about my books and my videos and things like this. It I don't know why else it would be, why anybody else would want to attack him. I mean, he has written over 600, almost 700 books on the occult. Sounds about right. ...is the reason why. And the thing is, what I'd like to say to these people for watching is, tough. You don't have to approve of everything. You don't have to like everything that everybody else does. He's Just don't do it. If you don't want to do something, don't do it. All the different groups and things, we get on okay. We don't need these extremists causing problems, you know? If your view of the world is to... F Who is this guy? Really? You haven't seen S-Rob? So this is the guy that gave us uh, how to make talismans um, out of modeling balloons. So, like, there was balloon voodoo magic. There was balloon satanic magic. There was balloon black magic. And uh, he would make these these animals out of modeling balloons, out of like, you know, how you make like a dog, like a clown pumps up some balloons and twists it into a dog. But he'd turn them into like voodoo glyphs or something. I don't know. Uh, and then like make them penetrate each other to cast a voodoo curse. He's incredible. Force it onto other people. Then that's wrong. As far as I'm concerned, I wake up every day and I know this could be the day when somebody sends somebody to kill me. I know that every single day. If it turns out that it doesn't work and I end up uh, coming to harm or I get killed, it'll move on to the next line. That could be you. That next line could be you. Mm. It could be something that, th that you want. Even you see, they want to kill you, but S. Rob is in the way. He's taking one for the team, for you and for me. For all of us, really. He's, uh, he's the human shield, keeping whatever those extremists are. You would think that he would tell us who they are, 
so we could be on the lookout as well but that's you know whatever it isn't even if you're not into real magic it could be something that you're interested in or something that you do or you personally is the next line i'm hoping it's going to go smoothly plan is just be a tourist do touristy things take pictures that's all my plan is to do that next i'll see you at the airport so um <clears throat> he uh he did not make a video at the airport he did, however, make a compilation video after this. We're not going to watch it. You can go check it out. Uh, you can literally find him by just Googling or looking on YouTube, S Space Rob. You'll find him. And it's just a quick little video montage of him in Barcelona. <laughs> it's very obvious. Well, I think it's Barcelona. Uh, it's very obvious. It'd be super easy to figure out where he is. But it has, like, a bunch of copywritten music, like, all over it and shit. So and it just wasn't really worth it. But I am excited to check back in with s rob to find out uh what exactly happened uh from him fleeing these extremists so stay tuned and we will uh we'll we'll keep in touch with that we'll try and figure out what's going to go on with that mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. also uh a wingnut that i believe might be in trouble that i still haven't heard anything from is uh, Steven Rodriguez, the guy that kept sticking needles in his face, used to be a doctor, lost his medical license. He'd go uh, screaming uh, Heil Hitler at a bunch of cops and shit like that. Still nothing. Still nothing. And uh, I Google at least once a month uh, his name and his, uh, his city just to see if he's been arrested. But I don't know if you guys remember, at one point there was like, he was questioned in a murder investigation or something like that something like that is real spooky real super super spooky crazy shit absolutely crazy all right uh oh you know what i actually screwed up i was supposed to do my 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 youtube grifting oh man see i'm terrible at being a youtuber guys i am the worst i am the absolute worst all right let's get this out of the way real quick let's get this out of the way real super fast and then we're going to get on to some bangers. Uh, if you would like to get some official Wingnut Roundup swag, make sure you go to BrainForceSideEffects.com. BrainForceSideEffects.com, which is just a redirect URL to our public shop, where you can get such bangers like Chi is stored in the balls. Fantastic shirt. Recently seen on Tinder uh, by a friend of mine. Uh, boy, almost matched with somebody that was actually wearing this exact T-shirt, which was fucking awesome. If you're the, the absolute stud out there that wore Chi is stored in the balls, my t-shirt, on your Tinder profile, you need to email me. You are my fucking hero. That's so goddamn funny. That's so fucking funny. Uh, <laughs> somebody says they've been watching me since the Jonathan Davis impersonation days. I mean, you know, the, the truth is I am actually the original Jonathan Davis. I hired that other guy. He's my lookalike to take over when I got tired of touring. That's just true. That's just true. It may seem like I look young for how old Jonathan Davis is, but that's because of how much adrenochrome I take on the reg. Anyway, uh, also, uh, if you'd like to donate for the stream, it's much better to use Streamlabs and Super Chat. Super Chat will steal 30% of the money you send, uh, whereas Streamlabs does not. And that's it for that. Uh, let's move on. Let's move on. And I've got... this. <laughs> We're going to do some mud fossil here, and there's a very specific reason why. Just enjoy. Okay, my friends, Roger, once again, I am not political whatsoever, but I see all these people saying God chose Donald Trump to fix things. Well, is that possible? No, I don't know. I don't know either. Can God intervene? I believe that's possible. And what would Trump do to fix things? Huh. Well, the first of all, I, I also didn't know uh, that Roger was religious. I had no idea. But this actually makes it kind of obvious that he is, which is very strange. Well, he would start to understand that if he is truly a Christian, as he claims, he will be looking for truth. And that's why he also claims truth, social and all that mess. Now, Will he look at mud fossils? Will he examine the evidence that shows that we are being misled to try to direct us away from God? Wait, wait, this wait, 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 wait. So, uh, uh, obviously, that is a number one campaign question. That's why Trump won't debate. 
You realize that. Trump won't debate because he doesn't want to answer the hard, hard hitting questions of do you believe in the mud fossil theory? That's why everybody knows it. That's why he's dodging it. But strangely enough, you know, the other side won't comment on the mud fossil either. I think everybody might have something invested why they don't want to speak about the, the mud flood and the giants and the dragons. Hmm. 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 To all the universities, I have DNA tests, some of my stuff, I have CAT scans. This is a giant human fingertip, and it is DNA tested human. I'll show you the DNA test in a minute. And it was excellent quality DNA. That's the little bumper pad for the thumb or, or, or the finger, whatever it was, where it bumps up against the next bone so they don't scrub. That's the vein and artery. This is the, literally the fingernail. I mean, I can right? see it. And it's in good it's shape. Clear, it's clear it's very state. good shape. Very good shape for a fingernail. And I broke this piece off right here in order to get down into the blood to get a sample of blood. Into and it's blood. dense with blood. Fingertips are very dense with blood. Mm. You see, once you get down underneath, but at the top, you can't get down underneath. Now, can anybody handle this? This is what came off when I broke it off. And it is just nothing. I love the, the, the fucking videoception that we've got going on here. This is incredible. More than a fingerprints. Same as this. Sweat pores, right? They're the same as the sweat pores. And that came off just like a scab. Pop and pop right off. Now, this Pop. is DNA tested, and here's a DNA test. And this was back almost 10 years ago. And uh, again, I submitted this to all the top universities, and they, they refused to engage whatsoever. It had no interest whatsoever, and, and because it supports what they, they said in the Bible. Excellent quality DNA obtained from that finger, that gigantic tip. Do you think that maybe, I, I, so I, I don't know what to even make of this necessarily. I'd have to do a deep dive. This is all like, this is all from a video that he made 10 years ago. So, I mean, come on. But do you think it's possible that he just like got so much of his own DNA fondling this fucking fossil and then when they tested it they scraped it and got his DNA like that would be very funny that would be very and very from funny. this lung sample which is right here this is yeah, a yeah, lung yeah. he's not wearing gloves you get and a shit. doctor get any anatomist they'll know that's a lung this is a pleura which is the rubber bag that lets the lung do that flat as a pancake because they all died in the flood the great flood that it talks about in the bible and I understand now how all of these things preserved. Mm. I have it all worked out, and I had that. All of this stuff was done mm -hmm. years ago, 10 mm -hmm. years ago almost. Well, more than that, actually, from a lot of it. And that's the fingerprints, the same as your fingerprints. My thumb is the width of one fingerprint ridge. This guy would have been 150, 60, somewhere in that range, 150, 60 feet tall at least. Big guy. Now, if God chose Donald Trump to rectify things, he should start with mud fossils because we've been denied our honest, true history. Academia has taken over control of every... You know, foreign policy, economics, social issues. No, 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 no. I'll get to that as soon as I'm done dealing with the mud fossils, okay? Some people say mud rocks. I say no, I say mud fossils. I'm the first one to say that, you know? Everybody's mind, and if you don't say what they tell you to say, they will fail you, keep your money, and destroy your life. Yeah. And if you don't go to them to get a piece of paper from them saying that you're smart, yeah. then you, you, you have no future. Mm -hmm. And they have engineered this into their system, and it is, it's a, it's a systemic problem, and nobody can speak up against them. Now, if Trump... Trump is the only one I can see that might be able to stand up against. So I don't think anybody else is going to have the cayunes to do it. The balls. <laughs> well, there you have it. There you have it. Uh, Roger coming out, hoping that uh, that uh, Manga Mussolini will be uh, will be the one to break open uh, the truth about the conspiracy. Now, I, for myself, will uh, not be voting for Trump uh, <laughs> at all. Um, but I, I am going to officially endorse a candidate uh, for this year because we got a long year ahead of us. We're going to have all this election coverage for fucking months and months and months. And it's going to make all of us really depressed uh, for a lot of fucking reasons. But I do have a candidate that can make you happy. Uh, and so I will be sporting this candidate's swag uh, tonight here on the Wingnut Roundup. 
Uh, there you go. Pee pee poo poo 2024. That's uh, that's my guy. That's my guy. I'm sticking with them. Um, is what it is. All right. So uh, that's the officially endorsed candidate of the Wing Nut Roundup. Thank you very much. Uh, Darth Acutis says, "Bring on the madness." Thank you very much, buddy. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. I guess now that I'm thinking about it, it kind of makes sense that Roger would be a Christian, right? Like, because the the flood. Uh, thing has to deal with like Noah's Ark and the flood, I suppose. I guess so. I just never really thought about it. Crazy. I never really thought about it quite like that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You're voting for the Yellowstone supervolcano? Fuck yeah. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Well, the rent is too damn high party is pretty great. And Vermin Supreme is also pretty great. Pretty great. But uh, I think Pee Pee Poo Poo might actually get into the primaries. I'm just saying. Just saying. All right. So what else happened this last month? Um, well, the team I was rooting for in the Super Bowl lost. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. And uh, that's as far as I gave a shit about it, really. Had a good time with friends watching it. Had, you know, had a little party. It was fun. Um, and then I forgot all about it. I didn't care. Why the fuck should I care about it beyond seeing the game? Very, very strange. However, oddly enough, quite a few people can't stop fucking thinking about it. And I totally forgot that this happened last year, too. But wingnuts, for some reason, are absolutely obsessed with the fucking Super Bowl. It is crazy. And you'll never guess who we're going to start with. Oh, it's Mumby happened um, at the Super Bowl. They were trying, and the Grammys. I can't even tell you who won the Grammys family, who won Album of the Year, and I have no clue. They're losing people. And you know, they may try and say more people are watching and this, but that celebrity thing is gone, family. They're not the people who are influencing. Even if they, I saw they invited a lot of YouTube influencers to like the Super Bowl and the Grammys and all this stuff, trying to pull people's attention. But these global rituals aren't working anymore. And one of the reasons they're not working is because people are seeing them and discussing them. And the minute you see and discuss, it dismantles what's happening. And, you know, when I was communing with the... You see the evil one. Uh, if you shine shine a light, like a flashlight on the evil, it just scatters like roaches. <laughs> and just poof, disperses. So uh, uh, sunlight is the best disinfectant for the global satanic cabal or something, I guess. I don't know. I guess that works. Sure, fuck it. Uh, ancient ones. That's one thing they revealed to me a couple of months ago is they said that a lot of the doomsday prophecies and doomsday predictions were actually stopped, diluted or diminished because the, they were prophesied and people talked about it and in people's minds and hearts they were like na 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 or they, people just felt some type of way. And that is what is, is if it was if Babylon had their way, we'd be on a we'd be chipped on a digital ID, digital banking. All of that would have already happened. The Corona Plus Two would have happened. Um, we we do have digital banking, and we I mean like real ID and and like I'm not really sure what she's talking about. Corona version two <coughs> kind of makes it sound like the coronavirus. Well, COVID was the first time we've dealt with like a pandemic and sh <laughs> like <clears throat> this is not this is not new it's been happening for a very long time because they keep throwing those things into the air and you see when you only see the world now from like you know those matrix numbers if you if those are if you're just seeing the narratives that are trying to penetrate the group consciousness and stuff like that once you see that manifesting and happening family then you know that their narratives are kind of just falling. The ones that they used, the divine feminine energy, let's say that, that they were using uh -huh. as incubators and multipliers and multipliers and creators. <laughs> I'm, try I'm trying. I'm trying. I think she said multiplayer. Wait. So wait, wait, wait. Does the evil conspiracy have multiplayer? Might be interested in that. 
the divine feminine energy, let's mm. say that, that they were using yeah, divine feminine. as incubators and multipliers and multipliers and creators okay, okay, okay. of their demonic and wicked and evil manifestations and ideas and sick, you know, plans to rule the world. So they were using the divine feminine in order to make a multiplayer game about taking over the world. Something like that, right? Something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, Lady Gaga is in Fortnite now, right? So, I mean, that kind of tracks. It kind of tracks. I have no idea where she's going with this. However, oh, is somebody sweeping? <laughs> it does sound like, like, a, like somebody's sweeping the porch just off camera. Yeah, for sure. Which only a really low-vibing being would think you could rule this world when there are billions and billions and billions and billions of nations and houses passing through. Anyway, let me not get too far into that family. Yeah, wheel it back a little We're bit. We're living such a spiritual and meditative life that the minute mm. we go into, you know, nope. a meditative, we can slip into a meditative state at any time and the ancient ones and the ancestors are just, they're just vibing. Is that what we happened? We could talk all day. Maybe we should do a marathon, you know, our first live or something. Uh, Divine Feminine, so it's definitely Jezebel's fault. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Blame it on Jezebel. You can always blame Jezebel, because it's always Jezebel. So anyway, family, I share all this. My deepest condolences to the family of the head. I think he was the head of Access Bank um, who died on his, the Nigerian who died on his way um, to the Super Bowl. I'd love to hear what you guys think that is all about, especially on Nigerian. So, yeah, this was like... I wanted to just kind of touch base first with Mumbi about this because, and it is a long, prattling mess of a fucking video. So we only watched like a little, little chunk of it. Uh, but she does believe that the Super Bowl was all staged. The Super Bowl was entirely designed as some some sort of giant psyop. Uh, she said that the narrative is failing, even though. It was the single most watched broadcast in human history, but really it's falling out of favor and people are just not that into it anymore. Um, fascinating stuff. But we use this as a segue to get into... Oh boy. Aw, same clown gang, COVID-2. This time, it's personal. Thank you very much, appreciate you. So yeah, this, 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 is, this, is, this is a lot. Uh, which is interesting. So first of all, let's just do the obvious. Taylor Swift, okay, mm. yeah. is dating. I actually don't know who she's dating, but she's dating a football guy. Travis Kelsey. Who his team won. That's weird, okay? Why? Because Taylor Swift, even just dating this guy who's on this team, has brought in billions of extra dollars to the Super Bowl, and the 2024 Super Bowl was the highest watched, the most watched Super Bowl in history. True. Why? I think it's because of Taylor Swift. Eh. Now, um, let's... I think it definitely helped. Um, you know, we, we used to make jokes about how uh, BTS fans are just like really, really, really extra. Like, just a lot. Um, Swifties are extra, extra. They adore and worship that woman. And I do think that it probably did boost the numbers a bit. I don't want to say it boosted them a huge, huge amount, but a significant portion just for the, the chance to, like, catch a glimpse of Taylor at the game, you know, celebrating or whatever. And, uh, yeah, they did. They showed quite a lot of Taylor. It worked quite well, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's just put it out there. I'm sure you've thought about it, but... Everyone who is a part of the, the secret shadow governments or the Illuminati or the cabal or right. the reptilian elites, whatever right. you want to right. call them, but every celebrity, politician, musician, who's a part of it, not all of them are, but the ones who are a part of it, those relationships are staged for the most part. If you're a very public figure, all of those dynamics, all of those relationships are staged. They will tell you who to be with, period. Taylor Swift and this football guy, absolutely staged, without a doubt. Mm, okay, so, uh, okay, here's, here's the problem with this. <laughs> there are ways to think about this 
that are logical, right? That uh, is it impossible that there are such things as arranged relationships in uh, celebrity? Well, of course that's possible. Of course. I mean, I can see it very, very likely if, if somebody has kind of faded a little bit in their career. Uh, there's somebody else who's kind of like, you know, waffling at that point and they make a power couple and then boom, headlines. And they're suddenly in the fourth right of people's uh, of consciousness and they're paying attention. And even if, you know, it's tabloids, the more people know your name and the more you seem fresh on the mind, the more likely studio executives are going to green light you to be in a movie or you to do this commercial or to do whatever. That does make sense. However, still using that logic, you have one of the most famous football players in the NFL and arguably the most popular pop star in the world. I don't know if she beats Gaga. She might beat Gaga. Yeah, she might. The, one of the most, at least in the top three, most popular pop stars in the fucking world. They don't need to have some power coupling. Like, like they're at the fucking top. They're at the top. They don't need shit. They can do whatever the fuck they want. I, I don't know. I'm not buying it, man. Why? Probably to put more focus, more attention on football, to bring in the younger audience into football. Um, cool. And, uh, and to bring in more money, of course. Uh, but why? It's like this big question of why. Why does there need to be an emphasis on football, but specifically the Super Bowl? Taylor Swift could have dated any footballer on any team, and yet she dated the guy, I don't know who he is, but the guy who is was on the winning team, mm -hmm. who happened to be the team that was the underdogs as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't say Gaga ain't shit compared to Taylor. The fuck out of here. I love Lady Gaga. I love Lady Gaga. If Taylor's bigger than Gaga, good for her. That's great. No hate on Taylor, but... Don't you talk some shit about my Lady Gaga. It's fighting words. Weird. It's suspicious. All right. Um, okay. So let's move on. Uh, there's a rapper named Ice Spice. Never Hello, heard everyone. of this. Sorry, what? I'm late. Whoa. Got distracted again like a dumbass lol. I finally moved and this is my first roundup in my new place. Things have been so awesome and are looking up. Love to everyone. Cheers. You know what's so funny about that chaotic kitten? I thought I fixed it where people who subbed to my Twitch channel that it wouldn't pop up anymore on my stream. And I did fix that. I did. You you did not see it pop up, did you? But you sure as fuck heard it, motherfucker. <laughs> That's like a ghost, like just popping up behind me. Like, oh, what? Motherfucker. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Very sneaky. Well, I'm so out of pop culture. Anyway, so I guess, I don't know. She's a rapper. Her name is Ice Spice. You might may or may not have seen videos of it. If you wanted to, you can check it out. Um, so essentially, she's hanging out with Taylor Swift throughout the entire football. It's like her and this other guy, and they're dressed in all black. Uh, turns out what they're dressed in was Balenciaga, which we all oh know boy. if you saw my Balenciaga video. Oh I mean, boy. it is a company that is seeped with satanic ritual and Steeped. unfortunately um child child essay i'm not gonna say it um yeah. yeah oh it's really bad so anyway this 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 ice spice was dressed in balenciaga um had a an upside down cross okay i mean come on and uh mm -hmm. and was throwing up the devil horns like Ooh. Uh, love the roundup bro Glad I get to catch it this month. I never get to catch you on Twitch because of work, but I stay subbed for support. Aww. Your vids in Sursic, thanks for recommending him, are what I watch when I'm down, so keep being excellent. Aw, Citosaurus, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That is very, very kind of you. That's very, very sweet. Uh, and also, yes, Sursic, S-I-R, space, S-I-C, is also a fantastic YouTuber, great fucking guy, good content. Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying both, and uh, yeah, I'm glad you're able to catch the roundup with me. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right, we're going to hear all about uh, the devil horns. Like this, right? Uh, no, it wasn't the symbol of love. No, it wasn't the rocker Aves, symbol. It was like Satanus. this. It was the devil horns. And she was not the only one to throw up the devil horns 
the entire uh, Super Bowl, okay? The guy in all black, wearing all black beside her as well, was yeah. also throwing up the devil horns yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, pretty Hail much Satan. the whole time. Hail fucking Something Satan. interesting is uh, Ice Spice was actually looking at the Jumbotron, okay, the big screen, um, and when she saw herself... Uh, on the big screen, and Taylor Swift was right in front of her, yeah. and I guess they were all a group, all hanging out together. Um, is that's when she wanted to to throw up that sign, right, Hell and yeah. to to point to her upside down cross. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she waited until she was being looked at by the world to be like, yeah, no shit, no shit, because you know, like. I'll just sit there alone in my room sometimes, and I'll just think about Satan and be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, of fucking course not. That's so dumb. That's so stu- Elizabeth! Elizabeth. She's over here. Elizabeth! That is very, very stupid. Also, God's not real and Satan isn't real, but whatever, it's fine. Okay, what else? Uh, also... Um, John Mayer's girlfriend. Mm. Okay, I don't know who that was. Uh, some girl. Uh, she was doing the Baphomet sign, which is the, <laughs> okay, it's this, and then also this, but upside down, Yeah. which is like basically devil worship, satanic. I mean, it's all a part of the Illuminati, right? It's all a part of the, the that symbolism. Um, I also wanted to mention, uh, typically when we see halftime shows and we see the Super Bowl in general, yeah. there are certain colors that are... Um, depicted, okay? And the colors that you will always see celebrities and individuals and halftime show uh -huh. participants wearing are royal blue, uh -huh. white, uh -huh. black, and red, okay? The royal blue... So four colors. Wow. They might wear four different colors. Black, white, Blue and red. Let me think about that. And? What the fuck? Is a symbol of um, reptilian royalty. All right. The black and the white is a representation of um, essentially this reality. And a lot of the time, especially in um, halftime shows and, and Grammy Awards and Oscar Awards and all of those shows as well, you'll have a lot of um, white and black tiled flooring. And there's other meanings uh, behind that as well. But it's interesting. Now, the red, no. okay, the red symbolizes, and this is gross, but hey, this is that world, um, blood. All right. The red always symbolizes. <laughs> I was sitting here listening because I haven't I haven't seen this part of the video. I just saw the, like the first 60, 90 seconds of it. And she's like, OK, and so the red, it symbolizes. I know this is gross. And I'm like, well, she's not going to say blood because like that would just be so dumb of a fucking answer. There's no way that she's going to just say blood. There's no fucking blood. Ah, what the fuck? This is blood and blood sacrifice. Here we go. Once again, the Super Bowl is a giant Illuminati ritual. Okay. Dope. Um, uh, I will say this, take it or leave it, but it's also pretty obvious. Probably I didn't watch it. the game. Probably I'm just not interested in sports. Mm. Um, I'd rather play sports than, than watch them. But uh, the Super Bowl is scripted. I don't know if you knew this. There have been... Uh, football whistleblowers that yeah. have said mm -hmm. that it's all scripted. The big games are, but the Super Bowl especially is. Now, a lot, this is... All right, all right. So now I'm, I'm actually about to get kind of triggered on this one uh, a little bit because, uh, you know, there were a couple of calls during that football game, during that uh, Super Bowl. I wasn't very happy about So uh, maybe she's on to something. Funny. A big American sports event has halftime entertainment that features the three colors of the American flag and the fourth that helps them pop. Interesting. Isn't that strange? Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? Red, white, blue, and black. Yeah, no, absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And I mean, you know, 
I doubt that's even true. If you go back and you look at like the past 20 years of Super Bowl halftime performances, I'm sure there's a, like a ton of purples, probably some yellows. Like they do whatever it is the the designer chooses at that particular year, you know? Like none of this is Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Oh my god. But it's Elizabeth April. We shouldn't be that surprised. Frig Frog says, finally able to catch a roundup again. A heavy box fell on my shoulder. Oh shit. And back at work today. Earth Mother, please send healing vibes. Absolutely. Well, I I can't call the Earth Mother at the moment, but I do have uh, this magic wand that was sent to me by a wizard. So I'm going to cast Circle of Protection on your back and your shoulder, okay? Bibbidi bobbidi boop. There we go. Just like Harry fucking Potter. Uh, thank you very much, buddy. I hope you feel better. Jesus, that sucks. Thank you again, Citosaurus and Darth Lacutus. Silver Fangia says, The upside down cross isn't even a satanic symbol. It's a cross of St. Peter who was crucified that way because he thought he wasn't good enough to be killed like Jeezy Boy. That's true. That's very true. A lot of people don't uh, don't realize that. In fact, there was actually uh, there was quite a few uh, sects of, uh, of monks that would always have upside down crosses because they were so moved by the... The, the manner by which St. Peter was crucified, you know. It's all, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Earth Mother. Wait a minute. Hang on. We should do it like this. Is that even on? No? Here. Earth Mother. I've got it, so I might as well use it, right? There we go. That's much better. A boom, boom. What do you guys think about me making a TikTok uh, for Hemlock Moonwolf? I was thinking about making a TikTok for Hemlock Moonwolf and then a TikTok for uh, Uncle Ted. And see which one like gets more traction. Because I swear to fuck, dude, I, I haven't put any in the roundup this time. Uh, but I, I had to watch a ton of them. A ton of them uh, this morning and yesterday and the day before when I was like hardcore hunting. And there are so many fucking wing nuts. And they have huge, huge Tic Tacs. And all they do is look dead in the camera and go, I am receiving a channeled message from the galactic something something. This is the time of convergence and blah, 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 blah. And they just talk for like 60 seconds and that's it. And they do that once a fucking day. And the numbers skyrocket through the fucking stratosphere. And I could make ones talking about the Earth Mother. I could sit down for like an hour once a month and make 30 of those fucking things. And just schedule them to come out one after another every day. I'm kind of thinking I might do it. Kind of thinking I might do it. And then I'll, I'll do the same for Uncle Ted. And I'll just rant about the government. So, I don't know. Maybe. That could be fun. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. We'll, we'll see. Um. <laughs> oh, also, just to let you know, uh, I do have a video coming out. Um... In two days, I should have it on Tuesday. It's like 95% edited. Uh, it really is just, I was hunting for wing nuts, and I found one that was so batshit and so entertaining that I, if I put it in the roundup, it would take like two out of the three hours of the roundup. So I was like, fuck it, we're just going to make a video about it. So that'll be out, uh, that'll be out pretty soon. I think you'll, uh, you'll enjoy that. That'll be good. And I also uh, am working on a, a, a video uh, about the rising pseudoscience of Tucker Carlson, but that'll probably be a little bit later. All right, anyway, let's go. Shimon Boo! This is how I bless my food or drink before I eat it. You don't have to do this, but I put it on copper geometry, seed of life. Copper geometry. I charge it in my hands. Positive energy equals Positive vibrations, energy. love, activations, healing, DNA upgrades. Abundance, financial abundance, spiritual abundance, romantic abundance, ah, everything just coming into fruition. Coming. coming. Protection for myself and others, a full belly. Or Did somebody say come? Why didn't you just work right now? You fucking piece of shit. That button was working. That one Death orgy. Oh, no, 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 that one worked. Come, 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 come. We just had to heat it up. We had to heat it up. We had to like rub our hands and heat up the. Uh, maybe I should have channeled energy into my stream deck before I tried to use it. Is everything else working on this? Beta. Yeah, 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 yeah. Up yours, woke moralists. All right, all right. I did everything right, and they indicted me. Obama. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. Anyway, back to the show. 
or a nice hot drink for at least 108 other people. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. I'm so grateful. Thank you, God, for all that I have. Every opportunity you give me, all the love that you give me. Thank you for guiding my path and keeping me safe. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. <laughs> that good energy into it. I think that's enough? All right. So, um, it's silly. It's silly. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest with you, I have probably had like 10 friends just like this, and they were the sweetest fucking people in the world. So I'm not going to make fun of her. I'm just going to, I'm going to appreciate that I am well, well versed in people like this. Uh, and, uh, and, and she's, she's a bit of a cutie pie. So that's great. Yeah. They don't all have to suck. You know, they don't have to suck. Oh, I got to put these feet away. Oh, see. Oh God. Hey, look, another amazing channel is actually right here. Debunk the funk with Dr. Wilson. Incredible fucking YouTuber. Uh, he says to put the dogs away. You got to make the audience pay for that. That's true. That's true. I shouldn't be so bold as to simply uh, give out my most precious and uh, profitable resource for free. Uh, I'll just slip my loafers back on because uh, you haven't earned it yet. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, all that aside, uh, let's go to... What's next do we have here? Oh, God. Okay. Okay. So we've seen many videos by Remedy H in the past, all right? And they're usually fantastic. This is even fucking better. This is a fantastic Remedy H video. I fucking love it. I put it specifically here in the roundup so we could actually take some time and enjoy the ride that we're about to take with him. I don't know how long we'll be able to watch it, uh, but this is, it's, it's fucking great. I just want to share this with you all. Um, this is beyond the scope of the earthly plane. The creators of this universe have received our frequencies as of yet. True. They have received our frequencies and it was alarming because they're like, what is going on on the planet Kai? What is going on? Why is it that the original beings are uh, so distraught? Why is it that they are angry? Upset? I too have long been wondering why the people on the planet Kai are just so blue. They just seem so down. Not like themselves. Is everything all right? Is everything okay at home? Set, frustrated. Why have they not advanced? This is what the rich, this is what the creators of the universe is saying. And they came down. Yeah. Recently, they came down. And you know what they saw? What they see? What they see? They saw the skies blanketed, and they were like, "They saw the skies what? They saw the skies what? Hang on. They saw the skies blanketed, and they were like, blanketed. It? What the fuck does blanketed it mean? What does that mean? It, or did he say blanket, bla blanketed, blanketed, blanketed?" Saw the skies blanketed, and they were like, "Blanketed." It. They were like, "Whatever, it's fine." There was supposed to be a more advanced beings. They 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 saw the skies. They saw the the sun covered. They saw the moon covered. They saw the poisons in the sky, and yep. they looked, and they and and they were they were distraught. And the whole ordeal that I received in this information as I was laying down, and uh, there was also a brother who was who. He was having a dream, by the way. Just so we're clear. Just anyway, moving on. Cheers, by the way. Been talking to me. The whole ordeal that I received was that. Um. These beings covered up. 
the sun. Yeah. And we were thinking that this was because they were trying to protect their people. They covered up the sun because they were they were afraid. They were scared of who we would become. So they made sure that we didn't get the the uh, the the energy that came from the sun to charge up our bodies. They did this. These so-called white folk. These so-called Asians. Oh. Oh, these Saxon beings. Wait, they did we... this in an effort to make sure that we did not advance because they were afraid of our advancements. So, white people and Asian people polluted the atmosphere to keep... advancements from advancing or something. I guess so. I don't know. They were afraid of who we would become. Yeah. So all these powerful X-rays, X-ray solar flares, all these powerful M-class, C-class, corona mass ejections, all these uh, different uh, energies that came from the sun, that came from the celestial region, yeah. even this last powerful um, uh, solar storm or cosmic storm that we had, all these cosmic rays. Yeah. They blanketed the sky with chemical clouds to make sure that we didn't get them because they were afraid of our advancement. How the fuck you be on somebody's planet and you do them like this? So there is a great war that's getting ready to come. Right now. I will say, from his perspective, you know, because I, I when I like to strongman all the arguments from the wing nuts, from his perspective and his belief that uh, his people, as he defines them, uh, are the actual owners of this realm and world, uh, it would seem a bit rude. It would seem a bit rude. It would be like if you invited people, or even if you didn't invite, because I think he just considers everybody. Uh, who is Hispanic, Asian, and Caucasian to be invaders. But it, it's as if somebody came over to your house, just kind of like started throwing their stuff in the corners, and then uh, all started simultaneously farting. And they all had like chili con carne the night before. You know what I mean? It, it does make sense. I will agree with him. It does seem rude. War to come? War to what? War to come. Okay. Now their military, right now they have no one signing up for their military. So what I found out, as I've been doing my searching, what I found out is they said that all these these uh, Orientals called Mexicans and 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 all the other abroad, the other Saxons that's coming in because they're coming in through 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 Mexico and through Canada, and they're letting them in, and they're telling them you have to sign up for the military and. No, that's definitely not what's happening. But that is the most interesting anti-immigration speech I've ever heard. That is a vastly interesting perspective. Rather than just boring racism, like we always hear for why we should not, you know, why we should close down the border and build the fucking wall, because uh, it is. Uh, instead, it's racism of uh, they're just trying to get more of them uh, in with because they're the same because all Mexicans and Asians and Caucasians are Saxons apparently so they can wage more war against uh, that is that's amazing oh you like this shirt yeah 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 dude this shirt's great Ian uh, Ian got that for me it's fucking great order to come here and you will get everything you want they need soldiers to fight against us and the beings, the creators of the universe who are already here. The cre I want this guy to play Helldivers 2 and then give me his thoughts on it. Because I... I <laughs> I, I'm sure there's quite a lot of people watching that won't even understand what that joke's about. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It's an awesome game, though. Creators of the universe are not, not here to save us. They're here to uh, uh, destroy this system, but we're going to have to literally join in. So as this war ensues, we're going to have to be the ones to join in and yeah. assist. 
us. Nobody's sitting up, somebody fighting for us. Nobody's fighting for us because now we're starting to show the creators of the universe are starting to see that we want our powers, that we can, we want our abilities, and we know that yeah. there is something that belongs to us that we don't have. That's why so many brothers and sisters like, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Because around this point of time, if you look at the, if, if the, the Hopi scrolls, when the Hopis wrote the scrolls, they saw us advancing. They saw the sun energy causing us to advance. They saw all of this happening. Yes, yes. the Hopis saw all this happening. And these powerful energies that were coming down were designed to help us to advance into a whole nother species of being. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. I might have to cut it off there. I haven't seen it this far, uh, but he's getting very, very charged up. I do think it's fascinating, however. He seems to have a problem with Mexican people. He calls them Orientals, which is a choice. But he never has a problem with Native Americans. Not really quite understanding that the, 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 the difference between like Native Americans and Mestizo it's very, very short. There's, there's not a, there's, they're right there, bud. They're right there. Genealogically speaking, ugh, fuck it. You know what? Whatever. Even if I tried to explain it to him, it's not like he would trust a Saxon anyway. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Wah, 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 wah. Good fucking Lord. What the fuck? <laughs> <coughs> He's chill with one random tribal group. Um, yeah, it's, it's super confusing. There is not a lot of consistency that one can glean, uh, from Remedy H. But didn't I tell you that was a banger of one of his videos? It's wild. It's so fucking wild. Man. Mm. Is he talking about the Houthis? No, 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 the Hopi. Hopi. Native Americans. All right. Um, and then... We have this. I hope you're ready. All right, following the coccyx down. First uh -oh. segment's right here. Uh -oh. Here's the uh -oh. second. Lower. I'm gonna try to reach Lower. underneath of this bone right what here. What are you doing to that We're man? Pull this straight back up in the air. Any pain there when I push there? Not really. Ugh! He just popped it right in that dude's pooper hole. He just abused that man's fucking brown eye. What the fuck is that? Listen, don't you know the only thing that's supposed to go up a butt is a Bible? Only thing up in the butt is the Bible. Lord's word or nothing at all. This is a holy temple only for the word of Jesus Christ himself. Thank you very much. <laughs> God damn it. I, like, I shouldn't make jokes like that because I want to make the show as accessible to everybody. And not everybody who's going to watch this show is going to remember that Bob Larson used to shove Bibles up people's asses, but that's fine. He just cracked his tailbone, yeah. His coccyx. His coccyx. We'll, uh, we'll watch a couple more of this dude's uh, fantastic pops, and then uh, hopefully we'll have, uh, we'll have the wife in here to give me a quick break. I got quite a video for her coming up. All right, let's do this now. Lay on your side, this side. You're going to breathe as you breathe out. I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to push the shoulders up in this direction. And we're going to push like... Ugh. All right, now let's do this one on the left here. Good. Shoulders relaxing. Good. Okay, I don't know about you guys. I, have you ever had a head massage? Because I've had a head massage. And it's fucking wonderful. Head massages are awesome. Super fucking awesome. Um, but at the same time, like, <sighs> there's head massages, and then there's this. And this just seems like violence. Ooh, Check your eyes. Like, like, he's, he's having trouble with it. Like, trouble, trouble. Okay, nice and gentle here with the shoulders and head drop in. Give this a little push. Good. Ugh, gross. Gross, 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 gross. Brutal stuff. Brutal, brutal stuff. Um, let's see. All right. So, next up, I've got something special for memory.
Huh? No, 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 no. I said I was going to have one more video, and then I was going to need a break. Sorry. I heard a couple. I, you know, you're trying to fact check me on my own channel? Yeah. Is that what you're trying to do right now, Memory Holiday? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I am. Yeah? Yeah. I, yeah? I heard you say we're going to watch a couple of his videos, and then, so. Oh, my bad. Yeah. My bad. Confused. My bad, B. Yeah. Also, I call you B now. Also, that was Ian and Sherry that just pulled up on their bikes to say hello. Oh. Are they gone? Yeah. Well, then, fuck you. Get off your motorcycles and watch the Wingnut Roundup, you dicks. No, I love them. They're great. They're riding home. Oh, okay. That's fair. All right. Well, here you go. Boom, boom, boom. I've got a, I've got a doozy for you. A doozy? A doozy. Super doozers. Uh. One might even call it a duker. Do, a doozy duker? Doozy duker. How, how's it going, chat? Did Jeff tell you about my knee? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I know he told you guys about my bike. Because I was in the chat when that happened. So he told you guys about what happened to my bike, right? <laughs> about hitting the patch of mud. Well, the whole reason why Jeff was even on my bike to begin with is because one week ago... I dislocated my knee. For those that can't hear what I just said, I dislocated my knee a week ago. It hurt. It still hurts. It's not fun. I have, over the past 20 years, had partial dislocations, but this was the first, like, all the way dislocated. It was so gnarly. I had to, I screamed bloody murder while he was doing passions, and he had to come and, like, pull my leg straight and it just popped right back in this, into the place and the whole reason that it popped out of socket you're asking memory what could you have possibly been doing to dislocate your knee what do you guys think i was doing huh what do you think i was doing because it wasn't that <laughs> i wasn't on my motorcycle i wasn't lifting weights i wasn't doing anything like super hardcore i dislocated my knee because I dared to get up off of my yoga mat and try and turn around at the same time. <laughs> that's uh, that's life in your 30s. You try to, <laughs> one minute you're sitting on the yoga mat, the next you're screaming bloody murder for your husband who is live streaming to pop your knee back in the socket. Um, yeah, so that's why Jeff was on my bike because I can't ride my bike until my knee is better. I was able to drive the car for the first time on Friday, so that's good. I can drive a car now. Um, but I felt my bike was lonely, and so I told Jeff he needed to take it out um, so she wouldn't be lonely. And the universe was like, you know what, Memory? We're going to teach you a lesson about patience. <laughs> yep. We're going to give you some more uh, lessons in being patient. So with that in mind, uh, let's see. What video does Jeff have? <laughs> <laughs> for us to watch. Oh, oh, this guy. Yeah, good old Alex Chu. Let's uh, let's do this. And see, men they just want peace. You understand? Wow. Men they just want to be left alone. They don't. They don't want uh, you know, like, you know, like uh, oh, being so being bossed you. being bossed around by a female. Where they men don't want that. So you don't want that. There's a lot of advantages for Boss me, for mommy. Being alone. Take my bike I mean, around. Lots and lots of <laughs> Take it out of the garage. You know? <laughs> See, so no no man, especially nowadays, especially modern day man, no man would think like, "Oh my god, I'm I'm such a loser, you know?" No. I'm 50 year old, I'm 60 year old, I'm not married yet. I don't have family, I don't have children. I'm such a loser. No, no man thinks like that nowadays. No Are man you... thinks like that. Are you sure? Okay. Man, they just like they just chill. They just, oh, I'm 60-year-old. I don't have children. I don't have a wife. I don't even have a girlfriend. I'm not dating. Cool. I'm, I'm just chilling. You know, that's how man <laughs> thinks, you understand? But women don't think like that, okay? The, the moment women hit, like, 30-some-year-old, you know, when, it, when a woman reaches 30-some-year-old, she start to panic. You understand? Because <laughs> we dislocate our knee. Panic. And, and <laughs> oh, if, if she works, even if she oh, does have a very good job, okay? Oh, no. Even she does have a very good job. She has her own office. You know, she has her, her fucking talking about big, me. big table with you know big office desk and and you know, 
high, you know, computer and all that shit. You know, she's like some top executive. Even she's wow. like oh. that. Trust me, this kind of woman don't want to go back home alone. You know, go back home and there's nothing. There's you just you just have your own apartment. You know, you know everything's your yours. Every your your own bathroom, your own bed, everything is yours. But there's no husband, there's no children, and no no woman wants to go back to that. You know. Really? See, I have a. So, so pause for a second. Pause I for a second. I have two cousins, right? So They're not I yet. Th- this 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 is this gets really entertaining. Um, so Alex has been alone for a very long time. Yeah, I can tell. And he's in his 50s now. Oh, he's in his 50s? Yes, he is. He actually does look good for 50. Then why is he talking about women in their 30s? Uh, because... Is that why he's lonely? Because he's in his 50s and he's trying to get with women 20 years younger than him? I don't think he could get with anybody because he has lost his mind. That's probably correct. Well, you have to keep in mind, like this is the inventor of the immortality rings. He believes yes. that his rings will keep you alive forever. Yes. Which is why he looks so good for his age, which... Um, if and... I remember correctly, isn't he another one of the wingnuts that likes to watch movies and then act like things from those movies actually happened? Um, I think it was like a like one video. There was like one video of his, yeah, that he did that. But he, he also believes that he is kind of a reincarnation of a Nazi. Oh. Which is why he's got that flag. Oh, goody. And that people actually don't really understand Hitler and the Nazis. Yeah, he's 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 very... In- but he doesn't talk about I that much these days. I wonder why he's single. I know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's so fascinating. <laughs> uh, it, like, we forget like parts of his wing nuttery because he doesn't talk about him these days because all he talks about is how lonely he is. <laughs> and it's so fucking sad, dude. Yeah, keep going, keep going. It's great. He also pees in bottles. I wouldn't doubt it. Is what somebody said in the chat. I wouldn't doubt. I haven't seen those videos, but I wouldn't he ta- doubt it. He at talks all. about how he pees in bottles. Okay, uh, I believe what it. Multiple people have said now. Yeah, I believe it. Projection. Thy name is Alex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, one is like, I think one is forty-four year old. Uh, one and is. the other one is almost fifty. The other one is like. 48 or something. I don't know. 47, 48. And I don't I don't see them anymore. I don't get to see them anymore. You know why? Because they're not showing up. Okay? It's their fault. You know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, uh-huh. or somebody's birthday. They simply choose not to show up anymore. Yeah. They probably they have families with anymore. other lives that they I have I don't know. To maybe I, I said something to anger one of them. I, I have no idea what I said. Did I say something? Did I say something wrong to offend one of them? Why are you asking us? So. We don't know. You know, I mean, ask them. I I said uh, one of my one of my cousins. She broke her leg a long time ago, right? She she's been crippled Perfect for like a few months. You know, her, one of her legs doesn't bend, right? And I said, hey, maybe I, I said that. something to offend her. I said, oh, you used to be a cripple, but then I I cure your leg by you wear my rings and then you your your leg got you cured. You wore my maybe rings and you're I, no I longer a cripple. She got mad at me. I don't know, <laughs> uh, but I don't think so though. I don't think so though. <laughs> is that why you wanted me to watch this one <laughs> there's a lot of reasons i love i love the idea <laughs> I that he's feel like like you're trolling me i it's it, i love the idea that he's kind of like i wonder why she doesn't want to talk to me maybe it's the time that i was like hey weren't you a cripple <laughs> but like, but I, wow but, uh, but <laughs> maybe I, but I cured you because I gave you my rings yeah my magic rings mm-hmm. my magic immortality rings yeah Maybe we should buy some of his magic immortality rings for your uh, dislocated knee. No. You can buy them on Amazon. I don't want to give Amazon or him any money. I actually almost bought. I've I've almost bought in a pair of Alex Chu's uh, immortality rings. Maybe, you know what? I'm going to add that to the studio wish list on on Amazon in case anybody uh, wants to. Yep. I, I have nothing more to say. My knee is killing me. All right, all right, all right. Thank you very much, baby. Love you. You're welcome. I'm just sitting over here bending it so it doesn't get stuck straight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, terrified of not being able to bend my knee ever again. Oh, no. It hurts. It is not. This is not, this is not fun. Thank you, love. Appreciate you. So the, the final lesson I will leave you with is don't ever get off your yoga mat. <laughs> yeah, just stay on it forever. <laughs> Once you get on it, that's where you live. Where, especially if you're in your 30s. Yeah. <laughs> especially if you're in your 30s. Yeah. As soon as you're on the 30s, you're never going to be able to leave that yoga mat. <sighs> 
That's all there is to it. Oh. Thank you, baby. Uh, all right. Let's see. We've got... Do, 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 do. Thank you again, Darth Acutus. Appreciate you. Simon Roper says, Holiday. Celebrate. It would be so nice. Uh, Piper says, Thank you for everything you do. I don't really participate in the chatter community all that much, but every one of your videos and randoms make my day. Trans rights and remember next. Indeed. Remember next and trans rights. R.I.P. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and Erica Ross gifted a sub to Namie McNameface. Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate that. I love, I love, love the Rich Evans uh, laughing alert that I put on there. It's way too cute. And Red Scare says Amazon is getting this money. Damn right. Damn right. Uh, uh, uh. All right, let's see. We are good on that. Ooh, okay. <sighs> he lives. Wait, 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 wait. Shit, shit. He lives. The one. This physical body you're looking at is J. Essex, born John David Essex. But is, what I am inside this body is Ara. Mm. That's why my name was J. Ara Essex. J. Ara Essex. Instead of just J. Essex. Y'all should have had what I'm about to give you from yeah. the beginning. Yeah. But you didn't have a loving first being. None of us did. Yeah. We had a sick, abusive, 27 and a half percent lower frequency first beam. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love it. Fucking love it. <laughs> we had a ten, twenty. Wait, a twenty-seven. What? A twenty? A twenty? A tw a We had a sick, abusive, 27 and a half percent lower frequency first beam. 27 and a half percent lower frequency first being. So the creator gourd of the universe was 27.5 percent uh, low frequency. Hmm. With a lot of power, but nothing, nothing that surmounts to anything. They couldn't even destroy energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, psh, what, what a loser god! What a fucking loser god! Oh, you think you're a big fucking swinging dick fucking god? Able to craft planets, make intelligent fucking life, dictate the rules of fucking thermodynamics, crafting physics, coding the stars in interesting dynamics and gas and dust and fucking rocks and shit. Can't even destroy matter. Blah. Fucking loser. Fucking loser god. What a loser fucking god. You know who can destroy energy? The great black dragon. Of course he can. God. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. He's destroying my energy right now. The talking stops now. <laughs> and the it starts the moment I'm free, but I there might be a couple of things I have to do. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Forty eight hours after I'm gone, you'll know I'm gone. Mm, mm, mm. You miss me. What's that when old I'm expression gone. expression actions speak louder than words? I think there's a lot of truth in that. What do you think? I have no idea what you're talking about. Folks, love you. Love Lily you. loves you. Love you. I'll take good care of everything. I know what to do. I just need my freedom and it's coming. Yeah. See you soon. <laughs> <coughs> this is what I love about the Great Black Dragon. High energy. High energy. Very high energy. 
Uh, right, before we move on, uh, I do want to make a mention, uh, as I teased in the trailer for this Wingnut Roundup, we have very big, interesting Jillian news. Very, very big, interesting Jillian news. Shit that you're just not even going to be able to wrap your fucking mind around. But... That's going to be in the third hour. You're going to have to stick around with me, baby. You're going to have to hold on for dear life. No brakes on the train, and we've got one destination. Crazy town. You could say it's a crazy train. You could. You could be forgiven to call it that. That would be fair. That would be totally fair. Indeed, indeed, indeed. All right. Uh, next up. Oh, yeah, baby. A few days ago, as I was leaving my office after a... You know... Everybody's like stopping using their banger intros. Bob Larson's not doing the And so like earlier some people were like, "Hey, no intro for the Mumbi." She doesn't use the banger ent- the banger Mumbi intro anymore. The wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up Africa. She doesn't even fucking do it anymore. Like they got these fire fire fucking intros and they just toss them away. It's so stupid. It's lame, man. Anyway, here we go. A brief visit. I saw an SUV backed into a parking spot directly in front of the exit door. My Ooh. eyes were immediately drawn to the SUV license plate, which read Cursed One, number one. My home state of Arizona allows such self-descriptive plates for a fee. So long as they don't display profanity or hate. But this person's plate was an egregious example of self-hate. I love the idea that Bob Larson is just like, I'm just like you, really. When I walk through a parking lot and I see SUV, I immediately perceive the SUV's license plate for no reason other than I very much appreciate license plates. I'm just like you. I'm definitely not a lizard in a skin suit. Not at all. I assume that by the number one, the owner meant the word one, as in cursed one, O-N-E. I took a quick photo, but then I started processing what I had just seen. My first thought was this, what is this person thinking? The vehicle was a high-end Jeep, all decked out for a city street more than off-road. I figured that the driver must be successful to buy a vanity vehicle like this. So why does this person think he's been cursed? Is this a sick joke? Someone's idea of black humor? Or is he- I love the idea. Well, first of all, if this is even true, this could all be completely just fake for a, a reason to say something on camera and make some ad revenue. But I love the idea. Bob Larson, right? <clears throat> he's out there shopping doing his stuff and he stops and he looks over and he looks at the license plate like he always does like a normal human being does and he's like why 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 would someone but but if you if you were to do, but why why would you why why? 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 Why would you? I don't. I guess. I I'm just trying to. Why? 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 Why would you make that as license plate? That doesn't make any sense to me. That's very strange. It's so weird. Why? Oh, well, I guess I'll make a video about it later. Or she trying to ward off a spell. Is it a cry for help? Is this individual into black magic or witchcraft and knows that someone has put a whammy on them? Or does whammy. cursed one <laughs> refer to a general feeling? Something isn't right in their life. No whammies. And they want the world to know it. No whammies. Call it stupid, exhibitionist, self-confessional. Put any designation you want on it. This license plate says a lot of things. It does it. Silly Billy, that's not it at all. It's just the SUV of the leader of Cursed Squadron. There you go. Fuck yeah. Absolutely. Thank you, Darth Lacutus. <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. No whammies. No whammies. Big money, no whammies. No whammies. The first thing it says is that 
The person with the plate must take the idea of curses at least somewhat seriously. Why else pay to publicly advertise the danger of being cursed? But knowing that someone has cursed you doesn't cancel a curse. A genuine curse, something instituted by occult ritual or revenge rite, yeah, yeah. can only be countered by a committed Christian invoking the blood of Christ. No abracadabra will work. Fighting a curse with a curse is fighting fire with fire. No witch doctor nor New Age Hocus Pocus will stop a real curse from doing harm. Not like those fake curses. Caught it a tad late. Let's see if I can catch up on double speed before it's over. Hi, future me. And hi, Jeff. Ooh, planetary ooh. Hello. Hello right now in the current frame and time, and hello to you also in the future when you catch back up. I think you can fucking do it. You might be able to do it. We're only about halfway through. Yeah, we're about halfway through. So if you do it now in 45 minutes at double speed, maybe you can... You know what you should do instead? What you should do is you should just watch from here, like live, and then afterwards go back and watch from the beginning at normal speed so you can enjoy it, and then end right here. Right here. Galatians 3.13 says that Christ became a curse for us. Trusting in the power of Christ at the cross is the only way to stop being a cursed one. Second, speaking of a curse okay. in jest won't make it go away. The demons who attach themselves to curses don't relent because of humor. Curses are serious mal- You can't joke your way out of this, motherfucker! Ha ha ha! addictions of intended harm or they are the consequences of evil actions like violence or perversion only the biblical breaking of a curse by prayers of agreement according to Matthew 18:10 will stop the intended evil the owner of that cursed one license plate or anyone who seriously thinks they have been cursed needs to call upon the Lord to ward off evil. A mm. curse isn't something to joke about or to be treated like a comedic comment. I mean, coming from a man who is a literal joke, I think we can safely say we can joke about anything. I think it's fair. I think it's very fair. We used to have like a period of time where a joke could be tasteless. We have eroded that. We have moved beyond as a society. We can joke about literally anything now. Anything, anything, anything. And then we can very much get very easily offended about that. <laughs> and then we'll argue about it on Twitter for about a year and a half. And then we'll forget until some random dickhead YouTuber makes a fucking video about it five years later. And everybody forgets that it was five years ago. And then they do. And then they're like, oh, my God, how fucking old am I? What in the fuck have I done with my life? Not that I'm speaking from experience. I have no idea what the words are that are coming out of my mouth right now. Anyway, finishing the video. If you really think that you've been cursed, get my book, Curse Breaking. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, fuck off, dude. <laughs> fuck off with that. Jesus. <laughs> I know it's really nothing even remotely similar, but Bob Larson's like, get my book, Curse Breaking. And the first thing I thought of was Tariq Nasheed being like, you got to get my new film, Buck Breaking. Can I get a happy birthday, Rachel? Mm. I made it to level 24 of life. Can't stay to watch, but will replay later as a gift to myself. Much love from mine to yours. You know what? I can absolutely do that. Happy, happy, happy fucking birthday, Rachel. Happy 24th birthday, Rachel. You did it. You got it. Uh, fantastic. Thank you very much, because I've seen you here several times on the Wing Nut Roundup for a while now. And I am so pleased uh, that uh, you stopped in at least to say hello. Thank you so much. Have an awesome birthday. Go treat yourself. Do something rad. Have an adventure. Curse breaking. Better call Bill Weasley. Ooh, yeah, that's a good reference too, actually. That's pretty good. Uh, Darth Acutis says I'd rather hire Bill Weasley. I trust his work more. Yeah, no, for sure. Oh, there's a lot of Harry Potter references this uh, this roundup. I don't know how I feel about that. 
amused. I do feel amused, but beyond that, I don't know if I should have more feelings about it. I'll analyze this and get back to you. Now, I found a great, great new wing nut. I think somebody might have found this, the first one for me on the Discord, which, by the way, this is a good reason to shout it out. I do have a Discord, uh, and there is an area in there called Suggestions for Jeff. If you find really fun wing nuts, uh, throw them in there. If it's a really long video, you have to include a time code, or I will personally, personally lose all respect for you, <laughs> and it will make me sad and cry. Uh, but if it's a short video, just toss it in, because I can, I can skim through that pretty quick. But somebody sent this one in. Uh, her name is Kathy. And Kathy's going to talk to us about some religious matters, since we're on the topic. Um, <clears throat> so here we go. I, I love Kathy, actually. You will be shocked this happens. Are you being attacked in the night? Sleep disturbances part two. <laughs> Her hair is a choice. Are you getting attacked? By okay. Okay. We're going to, we're going to fix that real quick. Are you getting attacked by incubus and succubus spirits in the night? Both at the same time, when you're pinned down, whimpering, maybe a bit sweaty. They're demonic spirits that come to defile you. They what? They what? They do what now? Come, 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 come. Oh my God. They come to defile you. In the night. Mm. How do you get rid of them? Break agreement with them. Oh. Put up a hedge of protection around your bedroom. Get out your anointing oil and anoint your bed and say, in the name of Jesus, in the name I of command Jesus. there will be no demonic visitation. I command. No unclean, foul, evil spirits. And I, I command a demonic over and under. <laughs> I bind every incubus and succubus demon from attacking me, my spouse, in the night. Ooh. Friends. At the same time. At the same time. I demand <laughs> no incubus or succubus come and uh, uh, become a sandwich in the night. No, it's fine. Speak out scriptures of peace. Say, I'm going to lie down and my sleep is going to be sweet. Bind the demonic realm and wake up refreshed mm. and renewed. Incredible. Good, good, good work. Good ideas. Yes, in the night, in the dark. I demand Jesus to fix me some wicked stuff in my bed. Fuck yeah, dude. Absolutely. How do you invite them over? Um... Uh, <laughs> I was about to make a really fucked up joke. Uh, right. Uh, go to a go to a a bar and uh, wait for somebody to come up and be like, "Hey, we really dig your energy." That's that's the demons. That's the demons coming. Right. Anyway, Kathy number two. I love this woman. I find her absolutely fascinating. Uh, crucial announcement, we get to bring the devil into bondage, not the other way. This is also highly educational entertainment, no, educational in information, you know, uh, this is very important. We get to bring the devil in bondage instead of him bringing us into bondage. Or either way is good, but whatever. How do I know? Because Genesis 1.28 says, then God bless... I can feel it coming in the heart of the air, the, the air tonight. That's Genesis, right? Come, come. That's Genesis? I can feel it coming... Or is that solo Peter Gabriel? I think that's Genesis. I'm pretty sure that's Genesis. What am I talking about? I don't know. It's fine. Here, let's roll this back for a second here. How do I know? Because Genesis 1 28 says, Then God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. That word subdue in the Hebrew means to tread down, conquer, and subjugate. Mm, mm, mm. I've had quite a few girlfriends that were into that. Yeah, quite a few. That means that... Oh, no, that was Phil Collins. Oh, that was that was solo Phil Collins. Right, 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 right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got that one totally twisted around. That's right. Okay. 
we get to bring the devil into bondage instead of him bringing us into bondage. Unless you're into it. Yes, we get it. We get it, Kathy. We get it. But we have to take that dominion, which is authority, which means we need to rise and put him under our feet and put him in bondage. Hot. Drop a comment if you're going to do it. I, I, I would do it. I would do it. Yeah, I would absolutely do it. I mean, if the devil's like, tie me up, daddy, and step on me. Like, okay, yeah, sure. That's cool. I could do that. Yeah, sure. That doesn't sound that complicated. It's when it gets too complicated is when I'm kind of like checking out, you know? When it's like, and Oh, no, the, but the drapes have to be fuchsia. They have to be fuchsia. You know, like, that, that's, it just gets a little fucking weird, you know? That's that's the wrong species of reed to cane my supple ass with. That's, that's fucking needy bullshit, and I'm not into that, okay? I got shit to do. I can't be too wrapped up in all your bullshit. What am I talking about? Anyway, or Danny, thank you very much for, giving, for becoming a member. I didn't say that before. My bad. Uh, Mickey is Trouble says, Funny story, Bob Larson once was very anti-Catholic. I used to listen to his radio show back in my evangelism days. Also, hi, Jeff. Love you, dude. Someday I'll tell the full story. That's interesting. Really? He was anti-Catholic. No shit. That might be a fun thing to do is to like do a deep dive into the early days of Bob Larson. Because I do wonder where he fucking comes from. Wingnuts don't just appear out of the air, but they also rarely document their pre-wingnut era. You know what I mean? It's, it's rare that we actually get to see in real time someone transforming. Uh, we do, however, uh, get to see uh, this person uh, in real time. Uh, turning into a calcified piece of dog shit. So that's uh, there's that. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Bill's Front Porch. Today. So while Bill recently uh, it says that he spoke to his pastor, and his pastor was like, why don't you offer to let people email you questions and you can give them advice. I think that would be totally fine. Give them advice from a biblical perspective. So because this pastor gave him permission, that's what he's doing. And this is, this is what he's gonna, this is what this video is, is a response to somebody asking him a question. So here we go. This question comes from Steve Miola. He asks, Bill, will I still be married to my wife in heaven? Jesus gave a very direct answer to this in Matthew twenty two thirty. He said that, in the resurrection, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of God in heaven. So your marriage, over, over. Once you die, you're no longer married. Sorry. It appears that marriage is a human institution that God created for earth, not for eternity. There will be no need of it. Mm. God created Eve because Adam needed a companion. He was lonely. He was lonely. So God made him a pet. Right, Bill? Right. In heaven, companionship and love will be complete and powerful in ways that we cannot even imagine. Swinger parties. In heaven, we will be bathed with the love of God that will be a billion times more powerful than anything we have experienced. Spiritual bukkake. In this life. There will be no need for procreation in heaven because it... Because you can't get pregnant. So, uh, no condoms. Nice. It will be fully populated according to the will of God. Will you and your wife recognize each other? Yes. Yeah. And you will be close for all of eternity. Your eyes will meet across the angelic orgy. But the relationship itself will be completely different. The important question is, will both of you be in heaven? Take time now to ensure that both of you are in the faith. Thank you for sending in your questions, Steve. This is Wild Bill for America. Thanks for watching. And America, bless God again. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't say God bless America. He says America, bless God again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Is, is heaven going to be a massive cloud orgy? I'm assuming... Well, I'm... Okay, so I'm obviously uh, coloring this interpretation with my own perverted, sex-crazed fucking perspective. I hear that there's no direct, distinct relationships, but you know each other, but you're overwhelmed with love, and everybody's, like, just down, and it's cool, and that obviously means that we're just all going to fuck. And that's what I would assume, because that sounds like a pretty cool place. That sounds awesome, but um, I'm sure Bill thinks that they're just going to, like, vibe, like, and, like, sing, and, like, pray. And that does not sound great. That does not sound great at all. Cloud Orgy is a Book of Mormon thing. Well, yeah, no, the Mormons, dude, okay, so the fact that the Mormons are extremely sexually repressed does not change the fact that the Mormons are incredibly horny. They are so fucking sex deprived. It is crazy. Mormons are desperate to fuck. They want to fuck so goddamn bad. It is very, very strange. Uh, Dragon of the West says, Infernal BDSM, you've been a naughty little devil, haven't you? Naughty, naughty, naughty. Uh, let's see. Are we freeing the, the uggo piggly wigglies? My feet are very warm. It's very warm in here. Should I take these off? Should I? Uh-oh. Nope. That's how we get demonetized. I can't just whip that out at any old time. Holy shit. All right. Next up. A musical interlude by Wild Naked Man. It will hopefully not blast our eardrums. Let's turn these way down. One skin, two skin, three skin. Where is my four skin? Tonight. Look down, it was so bizarre. He was sitting in a jar. And that was it. Should we play that one more time? One more time. One more time. One more time. One skin, two skin, three skin. Where is my four skin? Tonight. Look down, it was so bizarre. He was sitting in a jar. It's a weird place to cut that off. Memory says show us the toes. Fuck it. Fuck it. The wife says, seriously, though, I'm low-key jealous of Jeff's feet. They're much nicer looking than mine. Whatever. Listen, if there's one thing that is absolutely unfair in this universe is that I, as a man, have extremely sexy calves, thighs, and feet. It's true. It's absolutely true. I might not necessarily be able to talk up a lot of my anatomy. I might not necessarily have the most high opinion of my body, and my look and that sort of thing. I have a very realistic, very checked in kind of uh, self depreciating look on myself in general. But I tell you what, from the ass to the toes, I'm fucking banging. I got it fucking going on, man. I got it fucking going on. See me sometime in some Daisy Dukes. You'll just shit your pants. Just <laughs> too much. It's too much. There's a reason why it's actually technically illegal in several townships. Dragon of the West says, Celestial Orgies, Infernal BDSM, makes me want to write a divine comedy parody called The Holy Erotica. You should. You should. I absolutely could. I'd support this. I, su I totally 100% support this. It's good stuff. Good stuff. I support anybody doing any type of creative endeavor whatsoever. Um, oh, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. This is very, very good. I'm very happy with this. You're going to be happy with this, too. I was just waiting until we were going to get to this video. I'm so happy. It's rare that we're going to have two Mud Fossil videos in the same Wingnut Roundup. But holy fuck on Christ, poop on my savior, shit on my God. This is a great fucking video. So here we go. Okay, my friends, another shocker du jour. This I was sent this morning. 
<laughs> hey, Lonely Bird! <laughs> One skin, two skin, my skin, four skin. Thank you very much, Lonely Bard. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Uh, I do still receive my Shiluminati payments. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna roll this back in a second. But this is Roger. If you've never seen what Roger looks like, that is that is that is Roger's face. Uh, he he is just the goofiest, sweetest old man. It's great. But it's time for a shocker du jour. Okay, my friends, another shocker du jour. This I was sent this morning. What do you think? Well, here's what I think. <laughs> Get ready, because they're talking about this could be a pair of boobs. I think they're kidding around, but a, a, a pair. they do exist on the earth. This, this is not them. A, a, a pair of boobs. Boobs? Boobs. There's, these same structures are all over the place here, and, and I don't think... Too many creatures had more than a half a dozen boobs, so I would say <laughs> that this is not boobs. Okay. But I can show you real boobs. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Roger, listen. Okay, here's the thing. Somebody sent that in as a submission. They're like, Roger, look, boobs. And he was like, shocker du jour, but I feel like that's not actually boobs. I'll show you boobs. Okay? Roger. Show us the boobs. Everybody loves boobs. Let's see some boobs. Hey, my friends, what you need to understand is this articulation. Look at this. I'm going to zoom right in there. Now, you see how unbelievably... That's not boobs. ...structured all of this, these fibers are, and these, y yeah. these heavy-duty inter connections of muscles and tendons. And these are... These are hold on, I can back this out of here. All right, this is this is the very core and uh, Oh no, are we drinking every time he says boobs? Memory, you are going to have to grab me one of those tall boy beers from the mini fridge if we're doing this. I'm down. I'm super down. I'm super fucking down. But uh I'm going to run out super fast with this video cuz this video is fucking crazy. Here we go. This is with some tissue on it, some more, more, and then more. And what we're going to be able to see is things array, uh, eroded in all of those different ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is the, the chest muscle right here. Let's, let's just look at this, because I'm going to show you female breasts. That's, and that's not a female just breast. Just pay attention to all of this. These little lines and so forth. Were these little lines. These little lines. The lines in uh, on the on the musculature, on the actual muscles. Also, your pectoral muscles aren't boobs, Roger. They're not boobs. All of the tissues weave together. All right, it's all over the place here, and that's just the way we're Shocker built. Shocker, it's, it's absolutely phenomenal the way the human body is built. How do these things know where to attach to each other? It just happens. It's just amazing. Yeah. Okay, my friends. So here he is out exploring these what he considers could be boobs. Boobs. But they're all over the place. There's not just one or two. They're just everywhere. Now uh, there is. A There's boobs all over the place. So many boobs. Boobs everywhere. A couple that are spectacular, yes, but they are boobs. not boobs. Oh. I will show you natural boobs, and uh, I'll explain to you what's going on here. This is this is connective tissue, and those balls, they're actually balls, and they have a strap coming out the top of them, and that's er eroded away, and what's left is the balls. So we went... Oh, my fucking God. Oh, my fucking God. Okay. I, I tried to catch up with a second drink of boobs there, and I just spilled wine literally where it's going to make me look like I peed my pants. Son of a fucking bitch. We went from boobs to balls to pee. Fuck you, Roger. I don't know how well you can see this, but they're all over the place here. They, these so are these balls and same boobs everywhere, all over the place. connective <laughs> tissue anchors. Now, all of this eroded stuff, and you see all the black running down there, that is adipose tissue that just washed away and turns into mud. Washed away. The turned connective into mud. tissue, the strong, strappy connective tissue, and the balls, they don't erode quite as easily. Not at all, hardly. Especially not mine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't.
the balls. Now this strappy looking stuff here, that is connective tissue and it's just it's just eroded all of the, the fatty stuff and all of the real fleshy stuff away and left the connective tissue. See right? That's what happens when I intermittent fast. I hope that's funny. There, that's the top of what they think might be a boo. That is not. Boop. That right there is the attachment of a strap that held in there and the strap comes out as a fiber and that fiber locks in to tissue with these anchor balls. Now this is a pretty good shot. These are the two he's looking at and there he is right down there with his dog. <laughs> this, is, this is big stuff. Now they're all over the place out here. They, they're not just here or there. Now all of this is... That's a... You know, listen, not everybody's boobs are symmetrical. But here's the thing. Like... <clears throat> nah, I got it. No, nah, no, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I was just I was gonna say like if I were to boobs. Ah oh, fuck. God damn it. You got me with that one. If I okay, I'm gonna put it this way. If I was to have one abnor ab abnormally large nut and one smaller nut, and I was a giant, and I died, and my balls calcified and turned into fossils i would hate to be featured in that the only thing people remembered about my giant life was that i had weird balls that would make me very 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 upset if i had some form of spirit by which i could be like <sighs> nobody's perfect right nobody's perfect why are you judging me for my balls and so i feel like if you were to examine the mud fossil remains of boobs and you find an irregular pair, maybe just skip those ones and find like a more symmetrical pair. So like they don't feel self-conscious in the, the fuck am I even fucking talking about? Jesus Christ. What you would consider adipo, adipose tissue, which is, is, is weak and erodes and all of that black stuff running down, that is from literally from blood. Blood, when it turns oxidated or deoxygenated, it turns black. And that's what's leaking out all over here. This was just one big muscle tissue that had anchors in it. All right, this is one of the balls right here. It still has the strap attached. I just wait for one more boob. I'm going to show you another one. Can we it's get one more boob? Arches one more National boob. Park, which is the same thing. It has the ball and the strap. Okay, I just want to let you know, this is the POV channel. And the guy does some fabulous work. I would love to be able to interact with him because he's always saying, I have all kinds of questions. Well, I think I am persona non grata because I, I'm talking about these spectacular things that most people just, they just can't get their mind to believe it. So um, No, he didn't make the argument that they can't be boobs because they're not. Well, did he? I don't think he did. I don't think he did. I was saying that I, I just went in like my head cannon for a fucking minute. My stupid drunk brain went on a fucking journey. So I don't know. I can't even fucking tell, dude. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to I have to tap out. I have to tap out because otherwise I'm going to be here all fucking day watching this stupid goddamn video. <laughs> It's fucking me up, man. It's absolutely fucking me up. It's great. I love Roger. I love him. He's great. Uh, okay, my friends. Another shocker du jour. Amazing. Amazing. I need to make that a a button. I need to make I need to swap out one of these buttons that I never fucking use. And change it to another shocker du jour. I need that. I fucking need that. So bad. Mm, okay. It's not even going to work now. Okay. That's totally fine. I'm not mad about it. Not mad about it at all. All right. Uh, so catching up. Uh, do, 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 do. Lonely Bard, thank you again for becoming a contributor. Appreciate you. One skin, two skin, my skin, four skin. Dragon of the West says, show me your boobs. They're spectacular. 
Uh, Daughter Archives says, hey, Jeff, I just made it. Hopefully I'm not too late. You are not. We have wild shit to come. Absolutely wild. Uh, or Dania again said, boobs, thank you very much, buddy. And Daughter Archive donated two bucks and said, boobies! Boobies indeed. All right, let's do this shit. It's time to catch up with the Detox Dudes. Josh Mason has decided he's going to come back to YouTube and he's going to give us some wisdom. I, for one, am thrilled by this because I find him fascinating. And he's going to tell us all about the war on testosterone. If you want to feel like, if you want to reclaim your masculinity. I do, I do. I okay? so do. And women are dealing with hormonal issues as well, by the way. Yeah, sure. But if you want to reclaim your masculinity, you got to start changing things up. You got to kick out the, and I learned all of this in the, in the last year since you've you know seen my last video here on the tube. Mm. I started learning this. You know, you got to. You got to stop wearing polyester, polyester boxers. I wore polyester boxers for 25 years. I had wow. no idea it was plastic, right? You got to keep your testicles cool. So wear bamboo, organic bamboo boxers, let them out, give them some air, right? You, you got to give them some air. You got to air out your balls, wear bamboo, no polyester. Okay, okay. Yeah, no, it's a car video. I don't know. I okay. I don't understand. I do not fucking understand why these people record their videos in a fucking car. It's a 16 minute video. Okay. I get that. Are you so busy you can't have a 16 minute video parked? Okay. If you got to do it in the car, just do it when you're fucking parked. Why when you're driving? Well, that's when I think the best. I don't care. That's when you can kill the best accidentally. Jesus. And you got to get rid of the soy and the beans, right? And Wait, soy and beans? Do you mean soybeans or is it soy and all beans? Because there's a lot of beans that are pretty fucking great. Some beans are amazing. Garbanzo beans, hummus, fucking awesome. Soy also, uh, soy protein can be fucking amazing for getting gains when you're lifting. Soy also doesn't harm your testosterone. But I mean, like, I actually know this stuff. So, I mean, you know, well, who the fuck am I? The polyester clothing, especially your workout clothing, you don't, polyester is plastic. These plastics are endocrine disruptors, right? I guarantee you this dude lives half of his life with a pair of plastic sunglasses perched on his fucking head. Okay. I guarantee you. You got to start bringing in, well, what else should we get rid of, right? The things to get rid of. Um, you know, you got the clothes. Um, estrogen foods chlorine chlorine okay okay and you want to start bringing in a lot of organ and organ meats you know organ meat and or organ meat pills and obviously red meat and a super good quality zinc <laughs> a super good quality zinc a super good quality Zinc. What I find fascinating about this is so, like, <laughs> God damn it. <clears throat> I know what he means. I know that the detox dude is talking about a good quality zinc supplement. That's what he means. That's what he means. But that's not what he says. Zinc is an element. You can't really have good or bad quality elements. It's a fucking element. Like, I, I, what is it? Is it, there's not a lot of extra impurities inside my zinc? You know, you're chewing on a block of zinc. I, it just, it drives me fucking crazy. I hate when they talk like this. It's so dumb. 
You want to bring in some pine pollen. I like Sir Thrival pine pollen. Wait, did it say Oregon meat pills? Or what did he say? Whatever. Fuck it. Pollen pills. You know, one thing I do is um, I do iodine testicle painting, where I use iodine <laughs> on my testicles to kick out the halogens. You do what? You fuck. <laughs> <clears throat> Can we get a video of that? I want to see a video of him with a brush. I want to see a fucking video of Josh Mason in an Afro wig doing his best Bob Ross. We're just going to paint our happy little balls. Happy little balls. We're going to dip our brush here in a little bit of the iodine. Just going to paint our happy little balls with this iodine. No big deal. No big deal. That's incredible. Can we say, we need to hear that one more time. We need to hear that one more time. That is so, that is a fascinating combination of sounds. Pine pollen, I like Sir Thrival pine pollen. You know, one thing I do is um, I do iodine testicle painting, where I use iodine on my testicles to kick out the halogens. Sure. From the actual testicles. Fuck it, why not? Um, boron. You want to consider peptides. Peptides are very effective at boosting testosterone. There are other ways. There's like Clomid and Clomid. What type of peptides? Do you know what a peptide is? Clomiphene, there's TRT, which I would never do. Um, maybe when I'm 55, I would consider TRT. But, and then you got to detox the estrogens and the plastics. Liposomal DIM is another one. Okay. And so the thing that drives me crazy about this, what absolutely drives me fucking nuts uh, about the detox dude and this kind of like panic over their balls and their testosterone is these kind of jackasses are always like, you know, you need to live a much more healthy, natural lifestyle. You need to be more in tune with nature. You need to detox from all these things. And then their reaction to it, their solution to it, is to tell you every motherfucking supplement that you need to fucking buy. And coincidentally, usually they've got a fucking affiliate purchase link that you can buy them from. We gotta get back to nature. We gotta get more in tune with how the natural way things were. You gotta become more like the primal man, which is why you need to take fucking 17 goddamn pills every fucking day. You gotta paint your balls in fucking iodine you've got a detox purge revaccinate or a uh, devaccinate red light your fucking balls and sun bleach your fucking asshole and then and then you can finally be a natural man a natural man what the fuck is wrong with these people what the fuck Oh my God! The idea of getting back to nature shouldn't require like a fucking flow chart with 64 different goddamn steps and half he your needs monthly a cellular income. peptide cake with mint frosting. I'm sure Data could source one. Aww. Aww, absolutely. He needs a cellular peptide cake with mint frosting. I'm sure Data could source one. I'm going to pull up a picture of that actually. Yep. Do 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 do. Yep. I've got a I think I've got a photo of uh what the fuck? Why didn't that come up? <laughs> a nuclear peptide cake. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, that is quite possibly the most single disturbing fucking episode of uh Star Trek the Next Generation. Yep. Absolutely unhinged. Unfucking hinged. I'm making this bigger. There we go. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Say the peptide cake with mint frosting. I'm sure Data could source one. Data, please. Don't cut me, Data. Don't cut me. Weird. It's my birthday next week. Can your girl get a happy birthday, Morgan? All the love in the world to you, Mems, and the whole holiday fam. Trans rights and stop the anti trans Georgia House Bill 1128. Absolutely. Absolutely. Goth Parrot, I really appreciate that. Also, wait, how how old are you going to be? Oh, I thought you were going to. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? 
You look fantastic for your age, which you didn't tell me. But you know what? You look at least five years younger. Unless you're in your early 20s, in which case you look exactly how old you should look. But also, happy birthday, Morgan. Thank you very much. Trans rights. And uh, yeah, fuck the, the anti-trans legislation. That shit's been fucking crazy. It's been... Like, I know we're all happy, sunshine, rainbow farts and everything uh, on the roundup and everything. But it has been a very tough month uh, for our uh, trans friends and family. Um, so, you know, make sure you're sending out some uh, some support to people that you care about. You know what I mean? Is what it is. Is what it is. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Trying to decide if, you know what? Okay. Okay, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going before I, I take another break. I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. Next up, we have some more Richie the Barber. Now, okay. <clears throat> I love doing the Wingnut Roundup. And I will do the Wingnut Roundup for as long as I possibly can. As long as I possibly can. And I don't give a shit. Uh, about uh, like like whether it's worth my time or not worth my time, the experience is worth my time. Having the fun and the connection with everybody, I love doing the roundup. I love it. In the past two years, there has only been three occasions where I've been like, I'm glad I get paid for the roundup in some shape or form. And each of those three times is when I have had to go through videos of this obnoxious piece of shit to find content. And I did find it. And it is obnoxious, but it is very entertaining. But everything before this, 16 minutes, I had to suffer through to find something gold. Did not feel worth it. <laughs> <coughs> I'll watch like six six hours worth of, of super soldier talk. I'll listen to like five hours of Jillian. I'll listen to all sorts of shit and I'm like, whatever, dude, it's fine. We're happy. we're making a making a great show and I don't even give a fuck. It doesn't matter to me. Sixteen minutes with this piece of shit and I'm like Am I getting paid enough? This dude sucks. He and his his he he and his fucking co-host fucking suck. They suck. And they're very entertaining. So here we go. You know the crazy documentary I watched? Which was one? about Paul McCartney. I don't know his story. What's his story? So they say, and it's a whole documentary. You should watch it. I'm telling you. We've been sharing documentaries. No, huh? this one's good. Yeah. This one will be like, you're like, no way. Like you get sucked in. And mm -hmm. you're like, there's just so much evidence. You're like, there's so much evidence. And like, what? Like. I mean, I'm sure if I watched it back then when I was like on drugs, I'd freak out yeah. even more. But I watched it sober, mm. and I was like, "Dude, he's he's dead." So supposedly Paul McCartney got in a car crash mm. in the big heydays, right? With when they blew. So he's talking about, and I cannot believe that this is the first time he's come across this this conspiracy. This is such a, a widespread conspiracy that Paul McCartney actually died a long time ago and they replaced Paul with Stunt Paul. And Stunt Paul has been uh, the new Paul for a long time. What they don't mention, because none of these people give a fuck about music history or the Beatles or anything, is that even if that was the case, not Paul made more better music for longer than Paul Paul and went on to have the single most successful career out of all of the fucking Beatles. So who gives a fuck? Who gives a shit? The only reason why anybody cares whether or not Paul McCartney is a real Paul McCartney is if they're a bunch of dumb fuck, conspiracy-minded dickheads. Nobody cares. Also, you learn about this conspiracy theory when you're like in your teens or early 20s. It's so weird. Blew up. Mm. Got in a car crash. The yes, yes. That's the other thing. Rusty Stormcrow. Absolutely. They're using almost $500 microphones that are used for podcasting 
like like this, like this. And these are like designed. Those are the same microphones Joe Rogan uses. And they're all on swing arms. They're just like, yo, 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 yo. It is so fucking infuriating. I hate everything about this shit. You know, the Beatles did not know what to do because they were so famous back then. They were just so, like, they were on top. Yeah, like, yeah. People freak out about the Beatles, you know? Mm -hmm. you, you know that, right? Yeah, yeah. So they decided to, you know, they do a contest of a Paul McCartney contest. And mm -hmm. they found a Paul McCartney that sang just like him, looked like him. And what? they took him and they did a bunch of albums. Remember when they're walking across the street? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paul McCartney has no shoes. What? Yeah. He's the only one. They're walking across the street. Wow, he didn't have any shoes. Wow. Wow, that's great. Wow. Wow. How is that compelling? He has no shoes. Why am I not notice this? Of course. There's Why would you notice it? You're not a fan of the Beatles, probably, you dipshit. Probably. Like I hate this. I hate this because their entire podcast is so fake like one dude says something and they're like wow that's crazy and then the other dude says a random thing and the other guy's like wow that's crazy and that's all the podcast is that's all the podcast how how did i not even know that oh let him cook fuck it fuck it fuck it fine i'll let him cook a lot of signs and there's, there's uh even songs that uh what's his name john lennon wrote and he was so upset that that he's not the real paul he would sing about it what? Yeah, it's crazy, dude. And there's even like on um, the album cover, mm. the album cover. There's an, a grave, and it's Paul. Uh, Paul's in the grave. No way, dude. It's on the album cover. There's so much. And that's just the only stuff that I really remember. But there's so much evidence that he that there. Okay, so the reason why we're watching this. Hang on, hang on. Keep. Just hang on. The reason that we're watching this is I want to show you the kind of content that, that people... Because they they do numbers. Richie the Barber and whoever this dickhead is that's his co-host, they do numbers. Watch this transition. Just watch. Just just pay attention. That's what's fascinating. Just watch. They're pointing that he died. He's not the real Paul McCartney. Wow. Yeah. And there's a whole documentary about it. Just like how we, we have never gone to the moon. Just like that. That fucking quick. That fucking quick. That fucking quick. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? One more time. Watch this. This is fucking nuts. There's so much. And that's just the only stuff that I really remember. But there's so much evidence that he... That they're pointing that he died. He's not the real Paul McCartney. Wow. Yeah. And there's a whole documentary about it. Just like how we, we have never gone to the moon. Oh, dude, Andrea, that I just watched a cool. movie about this. That one's cool. The documentary about it. What do you think? You Bro, don't think we went? Well, the, the 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 flag waved. There's no there's no air. There's no like wind. There is literally nothing in this that is fascinating or interesting to debunk past that. That was the point. That was the fucking point. That was the fucking point of me even watching this piece of shit for so fucking long is to show you what conspiracy brain actually is. The reason why I point this out, and I really have to point this out, I've got to drill it into people's heads as much as fucking possible. This is very fucking stupid. And conspiracy theories are very fucking stupid. Not to say that a conspiracy isn't possible. Conspiracies happen all the fucking time. Shadowy shit happens behind our, our point of perception all the fucking time. Things that we will never know have happened and we'll never know. There is all sorts of crazy, shady shit that happens in this world and is happening right now. But the conspiracy theorist mind is so fucking dumb. It is so ADHD ferret brain rattled that it cannot cohere to anything longer than about two and a half minutes. And then it goes from, oh, Paul McCartney's fake to, did you know we didn't land on the moon? It's that fucking quick. It's that fucking quick.
It's so wild. It's so absolutely fucking crazy. This shit drives me nuts. Anyway, rant over. Done with that. Let's get to, uh, what is this? Uh, oh, yeah, Clown Chakra. Ever since that last Clown Chakra video, this has been on my mind. A lot of people, like a lot of people, statistically significant numbers of people, have been experiencing this whole Clown Chakra vibe. And yeah, I gotta say, that's been a trip. If we needed more proof for collective consciousness at work, there's that. So a lot of people also weighed in on what exactly is the clown chakra, and one particular member of the audience submitted this. Hey, y'all at Spirit Science. Thank you for putting up this video. You had mentioned that anyone who has had similar experiences to share, and I have. I've been visited by a mad clown figure during my times of what felt like sanity dissolving. I was having a time of sanity dissolving and then I was visited by Richie the Barber. It would come to me in hysterical laughter and almost demonic life feelings enveloping my body, almost coaxing you to feel insane. Even typing about it is giving me chills. From my understanding, this is a force that holds no respect or regard for others. Everything is a joke, nothing is real anymore, and the world is nothing but a channel for endless chaos. Why, okay, hang on. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I want to break this. I want to try and break this down. So the theory of chakras is the theory that there are energy centers throughout our body that we can tap into that correspond to various aspects of our being, our experience, our world, et cetera, et cetera. All woo-woo, spiritual kind of shit. But like, whatever. If you believe in it, you know, whatever. Have fun. It's cool. I've never heard of a clown chakra. Um, for something to be a chakra, one might think it would have to be inside of your body and ubiquitous across all peoples. So why they chose to, what I'm assuming is, call a malevolent entity a chakra is because they don't know what words mean. I'm very, very confused. If anybody has any, like, spiritualist kind of experience, maybe you can explain it to me, but I don't get it. The clown chakra is the G-spot. I mean, that, that'd be cool, at least. This is the unbridled child who has become enveloped in psychosis that has no stability. Thus, the world is clay, and whomever or whatever you encounter is merely material to mold into your reality. I believe it also holds a powerful message that we, as mad creators, can blindly and chaotically unhinge our world into chaos if believing you're alone in mind. Kind of how like that one ex of yours can unhinge their jaw. You should call them. Body or spirit. But such force is also able to be channeled into a powerful tool, one to carve boundaries and pathways for our life. To artistically interlace ourselves into the collective while beholding unto our individual sovereignty. The fractal tile that is you and not lost into the void between, yourself and the all simultaneously. Knowing you are both chaos and order, holding close to the mad clown until its cruel grin fades into a frown. How is it a chakra though? What does this mean? What does any of this fucking mean? Oh, this is driving me fucking crazy. This is absolutely bazonkers. And what's weird too is like, okay, obviously this doesn't make any sense. None of this makes any sense. But this dude not only said these words, thought these words, thought these words made sense, wrote these words down, sent them to a guy, and made the guy animate an animated scene to act out the things upon which he thought and, and said. I, I, I don't... I don't understand. I don't understand. It's very strange. I'm gonna give this another 30 seconds. As tears begin to stream in cries for sanity to return. And so along comes a light to burn away the paint and the sinister self fades into a being of creation. Creators must hold reverence to their abilities. In so, respect must be shared among all creators, yourself and all that exists, so that this liquid world doesn't wash away as liquid we tear world. it all to pieces with liquid fractured world. consciousness. Liquid world. We must hold onto sanity as we Liquid. swim in the waters of insanity. There we remember that we are powerful. Swim, my friends, but don't get lost at sea. Oh my fucking God. <sighs> Do 
the guy who runs spirit science is a sex pest and a predator. <laughs> Look it up. It's totally fine. Uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Dude's a fucking sicko. Anyway. Hi, baby. I also saved a good one for you. I know that there was uh I I I kind of kind of knocked you for a loop having to watch some Alex Chu, but I gave you a very good one for your next one, I promise. Just uh I have no idea what I'm looking at. You'll you'll figure it out real quick. Uh Darth Akuta says this sounds like the intro to a Joker fanfic indeed. Random guy says that moment when the Joker is your sleep paralysis demon. Um and Jade Vixen says, nothing will beat when Spirit Science got high on ayahuasca and thought Emma Watson was the new messiah. That was very good. That was very, very good. Very good. Yeah, Spirit Science um, was so horny for Hermione Granger that uh, claimed that she was actually the messiah of the, the cosmos. Not creepy at all. No. no. I think that was like during the fifth movie of Harry Potter too. She wasn't that old. It was gross. Go, go potty. <laughs> go have your piss break. And not not in a jar. We don't we don't do that here. No. <laughs> what? What has he given me? Guys. Ah, my crabs. My crab people. I can't do the crab walk because of my knee. So you get you get this. This is the best that you get. <laughs> and even that hurts. This is a video on giant anteater. <gasps> is it? Giant anteaters are a fake animal. It's Hans Wormhat! Yes! It is actors in fursuits. And I do believe in smaller anteater species, but these giant anteater ones are a made-up creature. And it's possible that the high school mascot growing up that went to your, your high school, possible that they went off and became a gorilla actor. Or who knows, worked <laughs> at a zoo as one of these creatures. Although these ones are pretty recent. These ones kind of, kind of came out of nowhere and kind of surprised people with their... The... Wait, did any of you guys just hear him chuckle just then? Like he's laughing at himself? I don't... I think he has lost the faith. I don't think he believes what he's saying anymore. And that's why he's laughing. At least that's my guess. Sorry, my nose itches. Hang on. Now. Okay. Back at it size of them when it's like oh wait they're what supposed to be that big and yeah growing up i don't remember seeing them that much and then all of a sudden now they're kind of all over the place and you see them in zoos but another thing about in the zoo i've seen these in zoos before walking around but i've also seen them in zoos before just like placed in a corner in the back where it's like oh they're sleeping they'll just tell you oh it's sleeping <laughs> people have told me that they think that their local zoo has like a stuffed lion that they put out sometimes and just hide and make it look like it's sleeping they might do that when their real lion is like not feeling good or doesn't want to go outside. They might just put a plushie out there. But it's the same with the suits. Wait, wait, wait. I think I think especially these suits. Wait, so he believes lions are real. Lions are real. And zoos only put out a plushie when the lion is sick. But anteaters. Man in a suit. Am I understanding this correctly? Lions are real. Yes. Giant ant eaters are not. Yes. Okay. Cool. Suits, they're so striking and big and fluffy. Even if there's not an actor in it, they can kind of just set it in a corner. Now, I, I don't think that you can get get away with taking a gorilla suit and putting it in a bush and telling those have more dedicated actors. I think that these these uh these ones I think are more frequently just set in a corner somewhere and they tell tell you that they're sleeping. But but they do but. get populated with actors and walk around. But you don't normally see this kind of thing. This video is ridiculous and it exposes the fraud for what it is. 
<laughs> because they'll also tell you that these animals are dangerous because they want you to think proof. don't ever go near them. They don't they don't ever Friendly want you rubs. going near any of their fake creatures. But look at this person. Obviously nothing's wrong with it, but then they'll tell you, "Oh, well they're special. They were there when they raised it from a baby with the bottle and that's why they get to do." Yeah. When the the real answer is that it's I so, mean, has he not interacted with dogs? Maybe not. Has it's, he never had a childhood dog? I I I I feel like I feel like Hans Orma, uh has was deprived of a great many things as a child. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Also, hear me out. We should get a giant anteater as a pet. No. Why? They're so cute. I don't. I'm not taking care of a giant anteater. Why? They're great. Why do you want a giant anteater? Because that would be dope. That would be so cool. Walk it down the street and people would be like, what the fuck is that? I'm like, it's an anteater. Oh, oh, what? Nobody would fuck with you if you had a giant anteater. Like, you just walk it down the street, got it on a fucking leash and shit. That'd be sick. No, I'm good. I'm good. You're not bold enough for me. I am. You gotta be. You gotta be. You gotta be bold. You gotta be ready to like. Excuse me. Yeah. No. I. I need. We gotta have an anteater in one hand and a Gila monster in the other, and a and a Komodo dragon draped over your back. Fucking wearing the skin of a fucking polar bear and shit. Just saying. I just don't want the wild feral animal near winter. I just, well, okay, yeah, that's fair. All right. Because yeah. winter All is right. going to love on it. And yeah. I don't think the giant anteater would like that. Well, they're very. They're... I don't think they're docile. You don't think so? No. Ah, uh, well, you might be right. That's fair. Okay. Like, that's I true. Think, I think we could get uh, a possum and raise it from being a possum baby. And it would be tolerant. Kind at the very, at the very least, it would get stressed out, and then it would like pretend to die until winter goes away. You know what? I'll accept. <laughs> I'll accept a possum because it's kind of like a a miniature anteater, sort of. And they can sit on your shoulder. Yeah. All right. Okay. You know what? Compromise. That's what marriage is. Compromise. Yeah. So we're not gonna get a giant anteater. We're gonna get a possum. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All and right. The, and they're good judges of character too. If they don't like people, they just go. All right. And they'll make that like face. I tell you what, though, if things never work out for us, you're gonna find me in an apartment with like three giant ant eaters. It's that's, gonna be very sad. That's okay. It's gonna be so depressing. You can have all of your ant eaters when I'm divorced. <laughs> <laughs> and I will have all of the baby possums are belong to me. <laughs> I'm gonna make the news, baby. I'm gonna make the news. Did you see that the? The Lane County Sheriff's Office stole someone's uh, pet alligator from Springfield. I did see that. Yeah, they Somebody... were like, they were like, we took this from someone. It's been their pet for thirteen years. All proud. I'm like, that was their pet. Did they move from Florida? Like, was it their pet gator? How are you gonna steal somebody's pet? Like, uh, their their thirteen year old fucking gator companion. Right. Like, I I was just thinking. Let about the it. man cook. I'm like, if. Like, what if they lived in Florida and that was, like, actually their pet gator that they'd raised from a baby? If a man and a gator have lived in in in, in uh, a codependent relationship for 13 years, whomst are you, law enforcement, to get in the way of that relationship? And it gets it gets pretty, like, it, it's kind of getting Florida-y in Eugene, Springfield area. I have noticed that, actually, yeah. yeah. It's a little weird. A little, a little warm enough a little for a gator strange. to live here. A little, that's a little strange. I wonder if they've if they've been like letting baby gators loose in the... It sounds like something I would do. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Eugene needs some gators. You know what we really need in, in Eugene? What's that? Capybara. Capybara. Dude. Capybara. Mm hmm. Capybara, 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 capybara. capybara. We, we should just ecologically terrorize this entire area by releasing wild capybara. Isn't that what happened with Nutria? Yeah. They released the Nutria to try and kill off the beaver problem. Was it the beaver? It was beavers. They were trying to kill the beavers. So they released the so nutria. So they released nutria, thinking the nutria would eat the beavers. No, but, but the they, nutria... just, they just cohabitated. Yeah, yeah. Well, because nutria are so chill. They're just like, nah, cool. I'll just yeah. hang out with my, 
I'll hang out with my beaver brethren. Yeah, I'm just a giant rat, and they're just a giant rat that likes to chomp on trees. No big deal. Yeah. We just hang out. And so now we have, like, a giant nutria problem. Up so, in Portland. It's specifically in Portland, yeah. No, here in Eugene. Well, they, we have too. some. We have some. But in Portland, you'll literally see them by the side of the road. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've, it's crazy. I've seen them here in Eugene. Like, have you? Yeah, when I was hitchhiking through, yeah. uh, Stella and I were walking down to Skinner Butte Park, and one went across the street on Lawrence. Street and it was as big as Stella. I have no problem with this. It I, was pretty creepy. I, it was like holy crap, rodents of unusual size. I, <laughs> I am totally, I'm totally cool with uh, Nutria being invasive everywhere because they're great. So we they're just so need to cool. add capybara to that. So yeah. then we have the trifecta of uh, feral, adorable rodents. Yeah, in town. I'm, I'm super into it. Okay, someone needs to get us a. A capybara. As long as it, as long as it freaks out enough people and it drives down the housing costs, so we can buy a house. Yeah, yeah. This bubbles got a burst. That's that's how we're gonna ruin the housing prices <laughs> here in Eugene. We're yeah. just gonna infest it with giant rodents. Capybara everywhere. So everybody moves, and then we can get a cheap house. Yes. It's a foolproof plan, everybody. Yes. Foolproof plan. And bonus, then we get capybara. That's true. They're so cute. Capybara. Cap. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll give you back your show now. Now that we've like completely sidetracked from Hans Worm Hat. Hans Worm Hat. Who cares? Who cares? Uh, How do you sidetrack a, a live stream? Who cares? Who cares? Indeed. <laughs> Good stuff. Thank you, baby. I love you. Mm, I love you too. For the record, I would not actually leave you for a pack of uh, feral uh, giant anteaters. I was just talking some shit. I just say things sometimes. Don't show me your butt. Don't do it. Don't do it. Stop. I'm going to need you to holster that and carry it on out of here. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, anyway, next, next, next. All right. Uh, I know some people get really annoyed with this dude, fuck, but I absolutely uh, love how stupid he is. So we're going to have a quick video from Mario. Good old Mario from Canada. I want to talk about... Ooh. I think people realize the extent as to how often this happens on Earth. Okay. There's only so many of us, Okay. Not everyone has a soul contract. And if you haven't obtained that yet, it's because you're still young. You haven't experienced enough to possess that amount of empathy or um, kindness. So, so to get a soul contract. Okay, yeah, sure, fuck, whatever. Did you read my suggestion? I'll get dressed as a mini anteater for you. And when I visit, we can start down the street and nobody will bug you. <clears throat> I do actually, I, I, I will co-sign this. This is good. This is good. Compassion. That oh, hey, and you know what? It's Colorado Barker's birthday tomorrow, and he's my buddy, and I love him very much. So, Bear, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday, man. Good to hear from you. We'll, uh, we'll be hanging out soon. That generally comes with more experience. The more you reincarnate, the more you're born with these things naturally, okay? Okay. Okay. You the could be a Caucasian woman and an African man right now at the same time in those two different places. Okay. I knew it. I knew it all along. I knew it all along. I knew I was a Caucasian woman and an African man at the same time. I knew it. Okay, we're spread out like that. Okay. I don't know how low the number is, but I would say no more than a thousand, maybe. That's how many souls are here, but we're just spread out everywhere. It's probably to save time, really. More, more of your consciousness is experiencing different lives lives, different experiences, all at the same time. If you think about how...
<laughs> we're all Rachel Dolezal. <laughs> I I didn't include it in the roundup, but uh, uh, you know everybody's heard of Rachel Dolezal, right? The the Caucasian woman who pretended to be black. Uh, and then got fired from being a, 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 one of the leaders of a local NAACP. Well, she got a job as a teacher, I think at a middle school, something like that. And then she got fired because she did an OnlyFans. And that's a good point. Like, if there are only 1,000 souls out there right now in the world, spread out across all how many people are we up to? Are we up to 8 billion yet? At least 7 billion. 7 billion people. That means that there's a good chance one of us, either me or one of you watching, is also the soul of Rachel Dolezal. There's a good chance. Complex and how difficult it would be to make one consciousness, okay? Yeah. Just one person. Yeah. That's an insane amount of effort. It's logical to think that they would use that consciousness and put it in all these different places, in all these different scenarios, all these different situations. When I meet people, if I've met them before, I can tell. And there's this depth to a person that has an older soul and you, you feel more comfortable around them usually. They're, they're more mindful of their surroundings. We call the opposite an NPC, okay, a non-player character. Well, I have no idea what he's talking about. Like, there, there's somebody with an old... Well, if there's only a thousand souls... If there's only a thousand souls spread out across all the people that are living right now, they didn't all come into being at the same time. Some are older than others. That seems kind of weird. That seems kind of weird. And so the opposite of an old soul, he is, is equating to an NPC, okay? Well, they can still obtain a soul. They're just, they're in grade one still. They, they haven't reached that point. You could meet someone and be like, how do I know you so well? You could have met them in a past life or you've met them in this life. And when you come across these... Be per be <laughs> That's a great message. Be peroxid per paradoxigum. What if all of us watching are the same person and the show is just you laughing at yourself four hundred times? That Whoa. <laughs> I hate that idea. I hate that idea. I hate everything about that idea, and I'm going to ignore that idea it even exists. That's cool. That's fine. People, it's not by accident. Nothing's random when it comes to that. If there was conflict between your soul and that soul in a different situation, that being will get reincarnated as your child or as your parent or as your spouse until you figure out your differences, right? I'll talk more about this, but ask me some questions. Um, why are you? That's my question for you. Why are you? Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. BCB says, I used to be an opossum wrangler and love the little trash goblins. I don't advocate for wildlife pets, but they're good ones and get double the lifespan. Eh, that's fair. That's totally fair. <laughs> Would you say you hate all of it. Oh, oh, I see what you did there. By the way, another good YouTuber who needs to make more videos is Olive Gardens. Uh, Olive with a Y and Gardens with a Y. It's my uh, my good friend, Janie. I miss you, Janie. It's been way too long. We should hang out. Uh, all right, here's another fun one. This is what I mean when I say the aliens are already here. Okay. There are certain species that do look very, very human, but are not. Prime example. Who is that? Chat? Hang on. The play who is that? I don't know who that is. I saw this video, and she, like, shows this video, this picture, and she's like, that's an alien. Who is that? 
Who is that? She's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. But, like, I don't know who the fuck that is. Who? <laughs> Whomst? Whomst the fuck is that? It's crazy. I mean, I'm assuming that's, like, a, uh, like, an actress or a model or something like that. I don't know. I don't know who that is. Miss Pleadian, obviously. Joffrey from Game of Thrones? I don't think so. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who that is. The Pleiadians are very, very human looking. Usually very pale and also... Anna Sophia Robb? Anna Sophia Robb. What's she from? What's What was she in, actually? Now I'm really curious. Who's Anna Sophia Robb? Here. Mm, Anna Sophia Robb. What was she in? I'll figure it out. Blonde hair, blue eyes. This is kind of Nordic looking. Not Nordic all Pleiadians, looking. but a lot of them resemble this. So, yeah, they are hidden in plain sight. And I don't get negative energy from her or anything. I'm just giving her as an example because... Oh, that's good. That's good. She played Violet Beauregard in the terrible remake of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what she was in. That's weird. Crazy. Wait. She's really got that classic Pleiadian face. Does Look she? Does I mean, she? she's beautiful. But she's an alien. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> we are the aliens. It's many of us. Not all of us, but it's many of us here with bigger missions. And this is one. That's a very strange roundabout way of saying I'm powerfully attracted to this young woman and uh, I don't know how to describe it, so she has to be an alien. That's what I'm reading from this. I, it's very, it's, it's very lesbian coded. It very much is. Me, oh, I'm, I'm straight, but those aliens, there's something about them. A little bit. Um, <clears throat> so Nordic people are alien. Uh, yes, obviously. Duh, of course. Dolph Lundgren is like the leader of the Galactic Council. Everybody knows this. Get on the same page. Jesus. Go. Yeah, no, no, no. It's it's um I'm I'm picking up some uh some thirst vibes from this one for sure. Uh all right. It's time. Okay. So this is what I really wanted to get to tonight. I, uh, I I do want to watch this video, but I'm going to tell you guys right now. I've said it before, and I'm going to say it again. She even mentions it in this video. She mentions it in quite a few videos. Uh, Jillian, Jillian has gone through some physical transformations. We don't need to comment on her physical transformations. We don't need to be mean to Jillian about aspects of her physicality or how she might be looking, or whether or not she's healthy or not. I have my own concerns about Jillian's health, but I'm not going to vocalize them. And so I would ask that you don't either. Instead, what I want, and this is very key, this is so key, I, I really want you to listen to what she says. We've got four different time codes that we're going to listen to what Jillian has to say. We're going to skip through this video because it's an hour and a half long. And what she says is probably going to surprise you. Okay? It is probably going to surprise you. So ignore whatever predispositions you might want to have to comment on. And I want you to listen to what she says. All right? This is key. This is very relevant to the channel. Very relevant to me personally. And very relevant to all of us in our experience that we've had in this entire Jilly Juice saga, right? So let's go ahead and listen. Oh, show and the beginning of the J world was such a trauma because of everything I had to deal. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't wind that back far enough. What she says is the Doctor Phil show and the beginning of the J world drama. Here we go. Oh, show and the beginning of the J world was such a trauma. Yeah because of everything I had to deal with that for many years, yes, I was very angry at how the Dr. Phil show ended because I was under the impression that I'd be getting the word out to help the masses, not be challenged 
so hard like I was. But I mean, anytime you go on a show that you're not controlling, you have no idea the intentions of that show. And so when you're in it and it's not what you thought it was, then you have to think on your feet. Then you have to be in major defense mode. And that's exactly what I was. And it was a type of trauma, but I put myself in that position. I put myself in an unknown. Okay, I can't really be mad, but I was for many years. And of course, all the, the people that were using that as a way to gaslight me and, and send me off into a tailspin. Wow, holy shit. And so yesterday was kind of like that situation. There was a lot of energy. My arms were hurting. So I knew energy was coming from the phone and wherever else. And my wrists were hurting. My arms were hurting. And of course, hives were coming up. And I was amped up. And then, then two trolls came through. And who knows where they came from that decided to send me off in the same tailspin yet again. Because every time that Dr. Phil show airs, there's always some kind of trolls. But I don't even know if it aired. I just think that... Well, see, I have a theory that... I All right, she rambles for quite a bit. So one of the things that's really fascinating about this is we, we obviously, uh, when I jumped into the Jelly Juice world and I started making my videos on it, I did it with very, very specific intent. And I have no problem with everything I put out, considering Jillian. I have never recanted a single fucking thing that I've said or I've done nothing at all. However, it's fascinating to to understand that Jillian's experience doing the J juice and then going on to Dr. Phil and that it did not turn out the way she thought it would. And that at the time she was very much immersed in this like mentality is something I think a lot of people don't pay attention to. And she elucidates, well, I don't even know if that's the right word, but she, she expands upon this even further as the video goes on. This is really interesting. This is crazy. So here we go, this is the next time code. I did it. And then I realized, yeah. After even later on, later on, when people were trying to make money off the situation, trying to make a business out of the momentum that we were taking on. Yeah, you can't be greedy in something like this. You start cheapening something like this and turn it into a commercial project where you must, it, it's hidden behind a paywall and here's a t-shirt and swag and all, oh God, it, 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 it then becomes, it becomes a joke. It becomes a fucking joke. And, and so, yeah, so I fell into all that, you know, turning into an actual, trying to turn into a business, you know, making money off the suffering of people, but then making claims like take away your suffering, but you, you can't do that. that. That's inauthentic. Um, and then I, I had to evolve. I absolutely had to evolve and even test out theories, even go from pink salt to white salt. And even, you know, when people were opposing that, people were next. So that's the other part, too, is like she, she acknowledges the fact that when she was doing this, she was marketing things as she was going to be taking away people's suffering, uh, but she was also being inauthentic. All of this was like a money-making venture. She was seeing fucking dollar signs. She was seeing dollar signs. Also, again, hey, no comments on her fucking physical appearance, okay? I'm not going to fucking tolerate it, even for people that I know. I don't want to see it. That's not what we're here for. I don't care if you think that Jillian doesn't look good. I don't, I don't want to see it. I don't want to fucking see it. We're listening to what she's saying. And this is actually very, very fucking key. We got, we got some very important stuff that we're listening to here. Because, like, this is, this is relevant, man. This is, this is very relevant to a long history that we've had on this channel. And so it took me seven years to figure that out. Thank you. Thanks to you. I suffered through it, but I did it. And that was the whole point of Dr. Phil. They brought me in under interesting pretenses. Not so much. I mean, what they don't say, you're going to go up against some dude that's going to really just <laughs> give you a run for your money. Okay. Who and is that? So Who is that, Jillian? That, that's fine, though. It needed to happen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, 
I do. I am Growth a little. Management is not destroying life, but releasing. I am a little bummed that she doesn't mention me. I am a little bummed that she doesn't actually mention me by name. But you know what? It's okay. Hey, you know what? I know salt isn't a spice. Okay. Jillian gave me enough shit for that. You don't need to as well. But here, so we're gonna we have one more really interesting uh, uh, section that we're gonna we're gonna listen to here in a minute. Um, but uh, what I what I really want to say about this because Jillian has been the longest running recurring character on this channel for a long time. Me and Jillian uh, are probably some of the most important people in each other's lives just because of like that one monumental moment. And I don't live in that moment. I don't really give a fuck. Not really. It's just another interesting story in a long history of interesting stories that I've had. It's weird and it's fun and it's it's silly to think about here and there. But there's so many other things in my life that are really powerful that I do. And I hope that Jillian does too. But what really means a lot to me and I think uh, is actually kind of self-evident at this point is that after the Dr. Phil show and after she had some time to reflect, Jillian did stop. She did stop. Uh, trying to aggressively promote the alternative and wellness lifestyle like she used to, like a lot of shitheads do these days. Jillian does not try and push that shit like she used to. She doesn't. She has a quiet little channel. She's got a tiny little fan base. Uh, she just talks about what she talks about. Some people believe her. Probably half the people that watch her uh, just hate her probably because of like the old days when she was relevant. But at this point, I am applauding Jillian and I am actually congratulating Jillian on the amount of self-awareness that she's displaying right now. And I think it's laudable. I think it's laudable. So I'm saying congratulations. But there's one more thing. There's one more thing that I think is worthy of praising uh, Jillian over, which is this honestly shockingly sweet statement that she makes right here dad loafers spotted well if i don't have the dad loafers then i have these sexy fucking uggo piggly wigglies and that's just going to be way too much sexiness for you that's why i keep them covered with the dad loafers all right listen to me i mean we're gonna have some interesting stuff in the future so just be tolerant but still but still giggle if you need to because it you got to be, because it's funny. I mean, when I see people on Facebook posting stuff of certain people that, that, that are a, of a certain G-N-D-E-R, and they're dressing up like another one, and they're making fun, and I get Wait for it. It's so different. It's so out of the realm of what we think is normal. It's still shocking to see, but that's what a person feels like. And you can't take that away from them. That's what they feel like. That's what they, that's what they, just like I feel the way I feel about longevity. Someone else be like, oh my God, you're stupid. Rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Uh, all right. So, so I understand what it's like to be a minority. Okay. Well, we'll ignore the, the last little part there. Based trans ally Jillian. Based trans ally Jillian. You fucking hear that? She's like, look, I get it might be kind of weird. I get it might be a little fucking uncomfortable and shit like that. You can't tell people not to live the way they want to fucking live. Based fucking Jillian, trans ally, Jillian said trans fucking rights. I get it. A lot of people are never going to be cool with Jillian. That's okay. That's okay. But for that, we can say fuck yeah, Jillian. We can say fuck yeah. We absolutely can. We can give that to her. We can give that to her. And that's okay. That's okay. Doesn't erase the bad shit in the past. It doesn't erase it at all. But it does give her at least a little bit of fucking kudos. Are you with me on that one? That's fucking dope. That's fucking dope. That's so cool. I'm into it, dude. I'm into it. It's so easy. It's so easy for the fucking wingnut to have horrible, evil, oppressive, shitty authoritarian ideas but when you have one that's just so pure in their fucking madness that happens to really embrace individual liberty and they hold true to that 
in the face of all the other reasons why they might fall into conspiracy. And they're like, you know what? Let them be who they want to be. That's fucking based. That's based, dude. That's based as fuck. That's so good. That's so cool. And I'm I'm going to give her fucking props for it. I'm giving her props for it. I think it's awesome. I'm into it. <clears throat> uh, Red Scare says... Eight of your top ten vids are about J-Juice. That's true. That is true. That's very true. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm not in control of it. I'm not in control of it. You know, to be honest, actually, you know what? I'm going to be I'm gonna be dead-ass honest with you on this one. I don't like that, actually. I fucking hate that. I actually really fucking hate that. I actually fucking hate that. I hate that hate the idea that the top videos of mine are about Jilly Juice. You know what my top videos should be about? Vaxxed. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Like anything that has to do with public policy, COVID, things that like legitimately kill people, that hurt and harm and fucking kill people. That's what my videos should be about. That's what my top 10 should be about. That's what they should be about. But that's not how the fucking internet works. That's not how YouTube works. That's not how internet clout and fucking e-fame and all this stupid dog shit works. That's not how any of it works. So I'm not in control of that. So I actually do hate that. I think that sucks. That fucking sucks. If I could take all the views that I made collectively on uh, on the Jilly Juice videos and give them straight into like the the debunking anti-vax videos, I would do it in a fucking heartbeat. In a heartbeat. I'd erase everything I ever did with Jilly Juice. Erase going to fucking Dr. Phil. I'd erase everything I've ever literally done, anything at all on my fucking channel and give it to just hopefully getting a few more people understanding how anti-vaxxers are fucking monsters. I would do that in a heartbeat, in a fucking heartbeat. Absolutely. But, you know, I'm not in control of the algorithm. All right, so we have three videos left, three videos left. This next one, there's no content warning. It's just a guy talking and it's gross. But the last two are gonna be pretty fucking gross. So uh, you've been warned. Here we go. So Brother Sage found himself a website talking about the fascinating aspects, top facts about urine, and he's going to share some for us. This is already four minutes and 17 seconds into the video, so he's already been talking about urine for a while, but uh, I just found a good time code where we can start. Here we go. All right. Rock urinating in hot rocks, intense. People still bathe in cow urine. This was uh, in India and Africa. Yeah. A few centuries ago, the ladies of England and France would use urine to give their skin a fresh glow. There it is again. They would either urinate in their hands or soften them and use poppy urine. In the 21st century, laboratories created synthetic urea to use in modern lotions and creams. You see, the medical community knows this stuff, and it's right there out in the public. It's in, it's in uh, uh, websites. It's in uh, newspapers. Why isn't why isn't the medical community reading websites and realizing that we should be showering cancer patients with pee? That's so weird. That's so weird. What are we even doing with our lives? The Chinook Indians used to make Chinook olives by soaking acorns in urine for five months. The dish was considered a delicacy. European bakers used urine to help their bread rise. Uh, before they discovered yeast. As men age, they speed up the urine. Oh, the urine declines. The urine stream declines. In fact, men urinate faster than women up around the age of 50, and then women urinate faster. Faster. So who's stopping to watch all this? Well, that's actually a really good question. So we're, we measured the velocity of urine in younger people and then in older people, and we were like, Young men pee fast, but old women pee faster than old men. What? <laughs> um, when butterflies <laughs> sip nectar from flowers, they also sip any urine that is collected on the flowers and leaves any chance they get. Urine is a butterfly's best source of vitamins. Now, it, doesn't that mean something for us? 
Yes, of course it does. Reindeer drink urine because salt is rare in their harsh climate. In fact, when Siberian sled masters want to gather their reindeer to hook up the sled, they urinate to attract the reindeer. How nice of the masters to pee for their animals. I'm going to play that again. I'm going to play that again. I just, I just, I just, out of context, I want you to hear this. When Siberian sled masters want to gather their reindeer to hook up the sled, they urinate to attract the reindeer. How nice of the masters to pee for their animals. How nice of the masters to pee for their animals. Okay. Foamy urine can cause by termite urine or can be signs of protein in the urine. I hope there's protein in my urine. Uh, do you? Do you? Brown or Coca-Cola urine. God damn it. God fucking damn it. <laughs> oh, man. Hi, Minnie. I'm uh, talking to about these uh, 100 facts I found about urine uh, on this website, and I'm going to post it here in a little bit. Uh, I'm having but so it much about fun. All the uses of urine on your face, in your ears, uh, on your skin, uh, it, uh, saving uh, a whole crew out in the ocean. Uh, they were drinking cow urine. And this is right in the middle of everyone's face. And uh, it's just beneath the surface of their awareness, and they miss... You know, the whole medical community doesn't even understand. Right in their face, right showering into their face is all the facts about urine. How can they see all of these facts about urine, splashing them deeply into the face, and they just look away? They just look away. They don't understand all of the most amazing facts and all the healing ways in which the urine could possibly be showering down and healing everybody, but they just look away. They look away. I, I I fucking hate this man. I hate this man so much. Jesus Christ. He's a, he's a fetishist. It's P enthusiasts are fetishists. That's it. That's all there is to it. Super Animaniac says, I prefer the J-Juice videos because the Vax videos, while better and more important, make me mad. The J-Juice ones are just absurd content. I, uh, no, I get you, man. I get you. I Thank you very much for the, the Super Chat. I totally agree. I totally agree. It's so much more fun to have a video where you can just be enough angry, but also amused and laughing at the absurdity rather than the existential dread of a very real and relevant video. I totally get that. I totally get that. Um, you know, it's just, it's, it's the pain of the creator, right? It's the pain of the creator. It is what it is. All right. Uh, so this is about that time that I have to uh, I have to do a little thing. Uh, I have to put a content warning out. I've got two videos left, and they're gross. And if you don't want to see something gross, uh, you should tune out. And if you're okay with seeing something gross. I'm going to tell you right now, the first video is gross. But if you watch this first video and you're like, all right, that was gross, but I don't think I could handle anything grosser, do not stick around for the second video. It is worse. It is so much worse. It is so fucked up. I have found for you this month a video that is so fucked up. I'm giving you a double, a double content warning. I'm not fucking around. This fucking video is disgusting. It's so fucked up. So, two videos to go. Letting you know now. Three, two, one, let's do it. Start out with some wild naked man. This is the calm video. <laughs> Gotta pinch the nipple. Pinch the nipple so you can pee. What makes me feel as good as gold? Drinking my piss hole. Yeah. Hell. Fuck me now. Let's do some beer drinking, brother. Let's do it, brother. Straight from the tap. Straight from the tap. Before you go, oh my god, it's so yellow. You're dehydrated. 
I take shitloads of B vitamins and they make your piss neon yellow. Yeah, 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 sure. I only recommend drinking your urine. If you've got a relatively healthy diet, I can really recommend doing my cleanse. The ultimate lifestyle transformation. Send me a DM with uh, I'm in to join. Sign up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. All right. Anyway, that was the uh, that was the not gross video. That was the not gross video. I'm telling you now. I'm telling you now. Look, I'm I'm even gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a minute. I'm gonna give it a minute before we do the last video. That was the gross video. The next one is even more disgusting. Um. You've developed a tolerance. Have you, Chaotic Kitten? Also, thank you very much, Chaotic Kitten, for all of your submissions this month and the previous months. You're fantastic. Grow some hair on your chest. Well, maybe. Did he pee? Does he pee into his mouth on the next one? No. Um, what was the name of that guy that peed into his mouth? Joey Salads. Joey Salads. As far as I know, the only YouTuber to pee in his own mouth, like straight, like literally pissed into his mouth, that was Joey Salads, uh, who is uh, long gone, and that's good, because he was a piece of shit. That dude sucked. Is this going to be Matadine peeing on himself again? No, 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 no. No, and it's not Wild Naked Man. It's not Wild Naked Man. All right, so it's about that time. Fine, I will show you the last video. I will show you the last video. Enough hyping it up, but I'm telling you again. I'm telling you again. This is a very disgusting video. If you're not down, click away. Three, two, one. Let's go. I'm just going to let you read that for a second. Let's go. Did you know that the ancient Egyptians used to drink their menstrual blood to increase spiritual power? And that the ancient Greeks used it to increase fertility? I use my menstrual blood on my face. It has regenerative stem cells in it. And also it has antimicrobial properties, which means that one of its major functions is to keep the vagina clean of bacteria. So I've been doing urine therapy for about two years and I've been drinking my menstrual blood probably for about six months now. I've been eating only raw food for about two weeks now and I know that a lot of the iron intake I have goes towards my menstrual blood every month. After I had my two children, I encapsulated my placenta and I had a capsule a day to replenish all the lost hormones and the lost blood and iron during birth. And we can do the exact same thing every month with our menstrual blood, replenishing our body with that which we don't use every month. Doesn't make it waste, just means it wasn't needed. Yep. 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 Yep, 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 yep. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, 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 yep. You know what? It's, you know, when, when you tune into the Ring Nut Roundup, you know what you get? Okay, my friends, another shocker du jour. Boom, every fucking time, baby, another shocker du jour. Coming at you with a new shocker du jour. You know, the last time I came at somebody with a shocker du jour, they actually got really mad at me and yelled at me, and I had to go sleep on the couch. Not fair. Anyway, long story short, um, <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. No, I'm done. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm done. Yep, that's the best I got for you. The best I got is a, a lady literally drinking her own uh, period blood mixed with urine. Um, I think we call that a slam dunk. I think we call that a slam dunk. Uh, thank you guys again so much for joining me tonight. I really fucking appreciate you. I love you. I think you're great. Actually, here, let's do this. Let's let's get some music while we talk. There we go. A little bit of background. A little bit of background. A little bit more. There we go. Yes. Okay. 
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me tonight on the Wingnut Roundup. It has been the Wingnut Roundup for February 2024. Let me tell you something. I fucking love being here. I love doing this. I love you. I love you being here with me, together, us, doing this whole thing. Should we kiss? I don't know. Crazy, crazy shit. It's been a really good time. I come back here every single month because I can't wait to see you. And I hope you can't wait to see me. So in one month, in one fucking month, I'll be right back here. And I hope you will too. We'll have another good ass fucking time. Another three hours of absolute fucking mania. I love you from my family to yours. Have an amazing fucking night. I'll see you fucking next time. Bye bye, everybody. Take care. I'm out of here. Shit and party and bullshit and party and bullshit and party.